¿Qué vale pelados? My Grito Parques Network les presenta a la 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, no, I was gonna bring up Queso Plus, but nah, they haven't they haven't fucking signed the paperwork yet. This, this episode, no, 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 vamos a cerrar la puerta. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, wait. <laughs> you can see everything, eh? <laughs> nos van a ver ahorita, nos va a caer la. I thought I was hoping this fucking episode is brought to you by the Maruchan, now available in microwavable cups, no? Oh, oh that's shit. right. <laughs> I don't think I've ever. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I've never microwaved it. I microwaved the Lies. water, but not the cup. In the I don't. I don't think I have. No, I don't think I have. Did you see Del Taco has fucking birria noodles? Yeah. Dude, what the fuck is that? Where? I don't know. Like, wait. who signs off on this shit? Who's in that meeting where that's like, yeah, birria noodles, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's big and fucking carnivals and fairs and fucking trucks. That's what the people want, birria yeah. noodles. It's out sold. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess we would crush it in one of these jobs where. Imagine us in that board. We'll, we'll fucking <laughs> sign off. We'll, we'll say, hey. we'll, we'll say, we'll veto everything. <laughs> no, no, no. Fucking taco weenies. No, weenie tacos. <laughs> oh, weenie shit. tacos. But hey, you have to use a fork. <laughs> it comes on those little forks, Wayne. Yeah. <laughs> the little plastic fork. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that, Mr. So many un un hey, hey. markets, bro. It'll fucking sell. Tu creme, cabrón. Pinche, the uh, fucking, we need to sell bologna sandwiches. <laughs> Tacos de bologna. <laughs> no, el pinche, you gotta get on the McDonald's board, way. Mira, I know you, you do a sausage and you do tocino on the McMuffin, pero peso de bologna, cabrón. Mm -hmm. Frito, you know, the bologna's in the pan for a fucking minute. Oh, it'll <laughs> sell, bro. It'll sell. I don't, I don't know. know. Hey, man. bro. Look at Taco Bell's killing it with their fucking mm -hmm. sopa maruchana. Yeah, they, Dude, they, they, I, I just found out that the fucking ice cream commercials or every ad that has ice cream in it, it's really mashed potatoes that are colorized because <laughs> it doesn't melt. <laughs> <laughs> they do a lot of movies. It's like, <laughs> fucking lame. Right they do a lot of movies. Like. What is reality, bro? We were uh, just talking about this wait, wait, last wait. week. Bamboozled, bro. What is reality, where where you're fucking salivating over colored mashed potatoes, way on TV? Yeah, fuck yeah, that was it good, the, bro. the the maple syrup or something? Okay, they, I mean something one of those clips that they the mashed potatoes thing. They 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 did a get like the syrup on the pancakes. Is no sé si era fucking like oil or some shit. Like because it's fucking <laughs> thicker. Like because it looks fucking. I know that uh, uh, there was a like I think you know how a lot of the celeb. A lot of celebrities start off doing commercials, and I think if it was just the the robot chicken, what's his name? Um, Seth Seth Green. Yeah, Seth Green. I think he said that he. I, 
if I remember correctly, he was uh, he started doing commercials, and I think one of them was for like McDonald's or a fast food, and they have to, you have to bite the food, but it has glue on it. Oh shit! To keep it together, but can also the saga, right? And yeah, this is like if you go in too deep, you end up fucking biting the, the glue, the glue part. <laughs> oh shit! Really? Yeah. In a weird way. Fuck, we no mamas. Imagine that way. What people do for money, we no mamas. <laughs> well, yeah, we no mamas. Ese güey le fue bien. Pues, güey, if I was in the Del Taco board, una maruchan con birria, yeah, who signs off? <laughs> oh, well, what's my cut? What's my cut? Oh, oh no, yeah, I'm yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, it's I'm in. in. I mean, wait, me. I've never had a slice of pizza <laughs> where, I, where I take it apart and the fucking cheese is just coming with it, güey. That never happens to me. No, siempre llega fría la chingadera, güey. Llega fría, güey, este, güey. Clumps of fucking cheese. Way. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Even when they have the the stuffed crust, cuando lo rompen and the fucking el queso está pegado, like, yeah, never, never had that. <laughs> it's Play-Doh, way. <laughs> no, no mames, <laughs> it's white Play-Doh. <laughs> oh shit, way. <laughs> ah, pinches tranzas. The, the the fact that they don't get sued for that is crazy, way. False advertisement, isn't that considered false advertisement? Way? Well, they sue for everything else. It was like the one you brought up last week. Yeah, yeah. what was it? The lady, what was she suing for? Because uh, the Halloween, uh, like, uh, oh, Reese's, the it, it didn't, didn't have, have the face and the, on the chocolate. On the actual chocolate, boys. Yeah, hey. That's what I'm saying. Take all these mamadas, way. Every time I order my pizza, it never does this. <laughs> hey, my Go on wa- a TikTok rant. My whopper <laughs> never looks like that pinchy photo. What the fuck? Hell no, way. Why? They, they don't spray it with hairspray, way, to give it that fucking the, little, the, 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 the watery lettuce look. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. <laughs> The, the lettuce is the the the, the park actually looks a little closer than the rest I mean of I remember argument. remember when Carl's Jr. fucking had a shit ton of money and they were hiring like Paris Hilton and all these fucking famous celebrities that were eating Drippy. a big ass burger. Yeah, and then the hollow dri- oh, yeah, fucking oh yeah, with so, the fucking that doesn't get in your face. Yeah, so, doesn't so, belong in. No, yeah, yeah that was something no, like that. Yeah. yeah. So I even went like Carl's Jr. because Paris Hilton's burger looked good, and then you get it, and it's like, wait, no more. Estaba half encuadrada la cabra también. Yeah, pero está. I mean, I'm just saying, where yeah. like the burger. I'm not talking about what she looked like, but yeah. the burger looked good. Yeah. But they're paying a lot of fucking. If it doesn't get all over the place, it doesn't belong in your face. Andale, andale. Sabes que, yeah, that one's it. Y sabes que, wey, I don't really see Carl's Jr. that packed anymore. Where nah, it's falling off. Wey. I even remember when I was a kid going in there, the one by my house in Linwood, they had like a little salad bar and shit. So mm-hmm, you would mm-hmm. even you were able to get like um like the baked potatoes. Uh, they, they sold yeah. baked potatoes, remember? And yeah, you would yeah. put all the fucking sour cream Toppings. and everything. I guess no les pegó esa madre, man. I mean, the baked potatoes lasted for a while. I don't know if they still Well, no, they you, f- fuck, they had the they had the, the little salad bars for a long while. Yeah, mm. For a long time. But because I, even in the 90s, they had it. Yeah, that's yeah, what, what I'm talking about. Me robaron the croutons and shit. <laughs> that, that was the, like, the bougie <laughs> fast food, no? En lugar de robarte los spinach or kale, <laughs> se robó <laughs> los croutons. You know, like, fuck Till brand, even in the 90s, he stuck to brand, pinche Ramon. Let me take the croutons, eh? Fuck yeah, I don't know what this is, but they're crunchy. Yeah, that was the bougie fast food way. It was, yeah. It was a fucking carito, no? And then, they, and then all of a sudden, you know, they're like, "Eh, esto no costea." No, I mean they do. They do. They had their time in the nineties. They no? did. I, I, yeah. At least during the time we grew up in yeah. the nineties, it was like the bougie one. And yeah, like the, era más carito. Then the restaurants were a little more taken care of. Like maybe that's when they just uh, they, they would still take the, the your your food to the table, right? They did. Yeah, that's what they would steal the those fucking con- yeah. for their the, the old the roll rides. Yeah, the little tents. Yeah. Sixty six. Fucking. Yeah. yeah. See, they were a little more bougie way. Yeah, I remember. Poquito más caro. I las remember. hamburguesas. I remember. I don't know if it's because porque están más caras. They, they, Sabían un poquito mejor. Okay, they never had the 69, siempre se la robaban. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no, dura, no, du, no duraba, güey. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, no duraba el 69, dice. <laughs> ¿Por qué 69? Llego cansado. <laughs> yeah, el, el paisita ni sabe por qué. <laughs> Inside joke, sorry. Oh. I shouldn't have brought that over. I don't think Fernando got it. Uh, well, I was trying to cover it up, but no deja, güey. <laughs> it was good though. Wey. I used to love those western bacon's. The, <coughs> ah, they're the good. Double way. westerns with the onion rings and the ah, fucking they bacon. They were good. Way. Um, I will assume they're still good, but probably. Last time I went, it was yeah, it was like fucking all over the place. Hamburguesa, <laughs> <laughs> pinche onion la ring. Yada. It was just yeah, a crust. It was sloppy. Was it was a sloppy. No, um, I mean they, back then, to bet that they echaban ganas, way. But now, the last time I went, which probably a couple years ago, or maybe more. 
estaba la pinche hamburguesa toda pinche ladeada. Como dice este güey, el pinche, like, one onion ring was like fucking size of a quarter. El, el queso todo estaba frío, todo I tieso. Know, like, yeah. It was like, it was, it was, yeah, it wasn't great, güey. I, bl I blame that on the, the, the quiet quitting crowd, güey. They're like, hey, güey, let's, <laughs> it's a burger, right? <laughs> it's got all the, uh, all the ingredients in there. It went down here after they got rid of the tents, the little number tents. <laughs> no, yeah, pero también in the 90s, it's gonna, the, the Jack in the Box had its little resurgence, no? Yeah. Jack in the when box. they brought in the, the Jack. When the Jack, back, Jack came back or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, with the little antenna balls. That's right, wey, when Jack came. And came back, le subieron los precios. <laughs> yeah, because for the, for the long it was always gonna I almost went out of business because of the mad cow disease scare ah cabron oh really yeah is that what it was yeah, the, jack the, in the box yeah that was the first uh, chain that reported someone dying of a mad cow disease oh, it was shit. in a jack in the box is that what it was shit yeah and, and then and now it's all happy cows <laughs> no, happy all. cows we, <laughs> only, we only kill happy cows <laughs> I don't need happy cows bros I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> at least the fucking cows got mental health fucking coverage <laughs> <laughs> They're going to therapy. <laughs> Fucking free range cows. Eh? <laughs> yeah, no. Even like um, the McDonald's, uh, I think uh, Reddit or somebody was highlighting how like McDonald's now look pretty like boring. But like in the 90s, they're all colorful with fucking like the mascots or the characters, no? Yeah, but it was like all colorful. The not, restaurant you mean? Yeah. yeah, the restaurant. Now they're, they're just like gray bland, and black yeah. and fucking toda wheat. Igual I mean, que todos, yeah. Kids used to fucking, I don't know how many McDonald's are left where they can play around. I'm sure there's a few out there still, but. There's a handful, yeah. I remember that was big, way. People had birthday parties at McDonald's. Yeah. Remember that pinche, well, the, the one at least I had pinche. There was the one, that fucking hamburger that used to climb in. The, mm, the, the playground. The hamburger? Like, the hamburger, yeah. Well, no, it wasn't was hamburger, but it was the fuck, it was like a giant hamburger that you went inside. Like you climbed up. It, it was almost like a hamburger tree. Then you had like a un tronco, and then they had the fucking like a, por decir, like a fucking quarter pounder. And where the meat would go, you had like bars around, so you jumped in there and like you climbed oh, and you went shit. around. It was oh. in the playground. I remember that shit. Fucking Maybe they pulled it out because they're like, hey, you're getting kids used to being behind bars, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it was? <laughs> or maybe they just had it in the hood away for know, that reason. <laughs> Get used to this view. <laughs> it was all tagged. You know how the cholos like to fucking uh, etch things? Uh -huh. It was all tagged up inside. Yeah. It <laughs> was, yeah, but, but I'm saying that even though the playground was, was on brand, was mm -hmm. you like fucking... It wasn't like a generic fucking playground place. Yeah, they had those little fucking, those rockabye horses on those springs and shit. And it was like a, you know, mm, the hamburger. Yeah, 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 I remember mm -hmm. those. It was uh, the little bird or no sé qué era. Simon, like that. Even the playground place were on fucking brand. Now even the ones that have it, pues, just have the, the, the one with the net and the entubados. And yeah. That's yeah. all it is, pretty, pretty generic. Fuck it, dude. It was an experience for the kids back in those days. I don't know if, uh, I think, yeah, but when I... Para mi edad o whatever, I think the, the first thing that I remember it was uh, those little rockabye things and then the, the ball pits. I mean, I still remember fucking when McDonald's in the 90s was in, in Mexico, at least where I was at, going, no estaba ahí todavía. So I remember going to the yard sales with my grandma to San Diego and buying all the toys that were in the fucking Happy Meals and then selling them in Tijuana because these kids didn't have that over their way. Uh -huh. So they would get all excited about fucking a little. What was it like? Uh, they were like little transformer, like no, yeah, Cause it's like a burger yeah. sent to a character. Some, yeah, some would argue the good old days of the Happy Meal toys. Right? Yeah, they were they were stationed in Transformers, como dices este way. And then I remember when the first McDonald's opened up right there in Tijuana. It was a fucking chaos way. People would go crazy. ¿Cuál fue el primero que estaba en la glorieta ahí by the? No sé cuál fue el primero, way, but I remember one que estaba en una en una like a uh, es que se llamaba la cinco y diez, which is a little intersection that was pretty famous. Yeah, de la glorieta de una. Not that one, way. No? It was just one? like a, it was just an intersection que le decían la cinco y diez, and um, I remember when they when it opened up, like this shit was fucking packed, way, and no, then they shit. used to call them McTrios. They probably still do it, way. And so fucking packed, bro. People would go fucking because no más. I guess they would just experience it. The raza that was in like Tijuana and like border towns, cuando cruzaban para San Diego, that's when they could eat it because there was a McDonald's literally right in San, in San Isidro. Isidro yeah. yeah, there's a Jack in the Box. I, I think there too. And so I'm sure llevaban las burgers, las pasaban way. La, they would just reheat them to their families or whatever. But it was a big deal, way. <coughs> It was the good old days, bro. Fuck yeah, bro. The yeah. hamburger days. I mean, the fries were made with tal beef tallow, so they were even, they tasted better, way. They got a little cheap with their fucking grease. Like, I don't know how long ago, but in those days, they would use beef tallow to fry their beef, their their uh, fries. Like the good stuff. And you could taste it, way. 
Back in the MSG days, bro. <risa> Back cuando usaban manteca, cabrón. Cuando no teníamos miedo al MSG. I mean, también, te, te, acuérdate cuán, cómo no los Chinese restaurants también en México, cómo pegan, güey. Like, oh, those for sure still have MSG. In, in those, <risa> no, that's why I remember because oh, yeah. you said MSG, but I remember the Chinese buffets in, in Tijuana, güey. Fuck, güey. They were super popular también, güey. Bueno, en Tijuana es... It's one of the the cities outside of China, no? It has the most fucking Chinese people. Is it? Shit. I don't know. Something like that, yeah. Crazy, man. Algo así. That's why there's a chingo fucking good comida china. Yeah, it's trippy because I'm not Spanish, man. Oh, Ramon took it a different way because he has uh, that mind, pero. El, el Ramon's thinking <laughs> that you were going to say el Hong Kong, or... <laughs> Well, that's what he meant. That's why he laughed. I'm just, that's why... I'm just going back and forth. I mean, is anybody going to bring it up? Or... Well, I wasn't, way, pero. It's buff is that considered a Chinese buffet? It's el buffet, yeah. Really? It's Chinese. Oh, that's the cold name. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Buffet. That's why he likes to burn fucking códigos, pero yeah. no es bad, It's fucking no, more no. <laughs> yeah, I've never been there. <laughs> yeah, you've been to the yeah, Chinese buffet, way. Way. No, I've never been. Uh, I, the last time I was in Tijuana, oh, shit. Que no andaba de coyote. He was pre-revolución. Que no andaba de coyote, güey. What was it? Shit. He, he, he had tickets to go see Peso Pluma en Tijuana, pero no se hizo. No, no se hizo. No, no, lo, yeah, lo amenazaron. Fuck it. No, no, no. Me lo yeah, amenazaron. Estaba vestido y listo, güey. Well, Ra Ramón lo amenazó because he can't go. He even spent the whole, a whole month listening to him on Spotify to learn the lyrics, güey. Compa. Hola. ¿Quién es esa morra? ¿Eh? Like I was bailing so hey, hey, And then he, he was singing this before we started recording. <laughs> and we're like, well, I thought you didn't like that. Nah, it's because my coworkers sing it yeah. all the time. Because, <laughs> no, Esteban made some kind of joke, no? Que fucking. <laughs> and Esteban jumped in singing right away. Yeah. Something about, yeah, I don't know what you said about it. Oh, no, it's because this guy was going to post a story, and I was like, pon la de peso pluma. Oh, there we go. And then I, I, I jumped in with that song and shit. Yeah, mm. este way. No se la sabe para que veas, man. No, no, no. I just, I guess I just know that riff. <laughs> that riff. <laughs> that riff. He sang like half the songs. Yeah, yeah, that's not even half the fucking song. Yeah, I dude. bet you that's half the song, man. It's half the song, man. If we no. look at the lyrics, it's probably all the song. <laughs> <laughs> it's just repeated. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but fucking, I can't remember when was the last time I went to TJ. I know I've. When do we drop off? Oh, maybe I dropped off my mom and my dad at the airport. Mm, in Tijuana? Yeah. Tell them more barato, no? Yeah, or I flew out of Tijuana. <laughs> I, I can't remember. Well, no, I saw también a while back a little meme or a little post because someone put the <laughs> my parents fucking saving $50 flying out of fucking Tijuana, but they don't calculate me driving them there. Coming back and then driving back to pick him up and back. <laughs> he goes, it's two days of work. <laughs> That's hilarious. <man. laughs> but they say 50 bucks. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> That's funny. <man>. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. They're like, no, no, sale más barato. My dad, my dad's uh, movida is that he goes right there to HP to the little camion, the, the little, the little oh, vans. Shit. The little, I don't know, what do they call them? Las burritas? I don't know what they call it's the ones get the cruzan? Yeah. <coughs> no, well, the ones that they take you to the border and then they drive back. Yeah, my so, mom uses oh. those too. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Kind of so, like the fucking buses that go to, to the state line. On the line, but yeah. They, they go to yeah. the frontera. They go to the frontera, so my dad jumps on that and fucking, you know, he's done that before. Pero dura como cuatro horas para llegar because it's literally... Es una burra. They literally pull over on the five to get... So somebody gets off and somebody picks them up. Like they have so many stops. Hey, déjame aquí en la esquina, no? Oh, Simon. Come on up. And then they pull to the side, remove the luggage. You sat in a fucking four hours later, you're in Tijuana. Way. <laughs> if you're lucky, way, it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> fucking damn. Fucking so my dad and my uncle, that's their movida. Nah, it's cheap way. Yeah. And then uh, my uncle even goes to the extreme, so he gets I think he just, he takes the el, el pinche autocamiones from Tijuana all the way to fucking to the rancho. Oh shit! Yeah, he's like, yeah, it's cheaper. Those are fucking baras, no? He's yeah, professional. I mean, it's what like in three I, days, I mean, one is on six days in total. Pero se ahorra la lana y ella se la puede gastar le dura más, le rinda más. That's true, eh? Yeah. Que el viaje de avión. Yeah, because it's way, I know it's way cheaper in the plane. Way. Just like you said, it takes forever. Way. Mm -hmm. yeah. You pay for it in time. Yeah, I mean, you're, it's a really tight space. Way. No, mama is kind of... There's always gonna someone gonna ruin that fucking toilet in the back. Yeah. <laughs> Within the first hour. Yeah. <laughs> or you jump on it and like, ah, oh, yeah, no, el, el, el este laboratorio no, no funciona. 
Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, fuck. I'm not a scientist. Shit. I'm curing, curing the pinches enfermedades. Yeah, man. It's enough business, way. There's enough business for for this fucking saving fifty dollars from out of Tijuana that they have that cruzadera, the one that you just go and you park, mm. and then it gets. Cruises right into the airport, remember? Yeah, I forgot what it's called. Uh, el, um, you pay like 15 bucks or something, and then mm-hmm. por ahí cruzas literally into uh, Mexico. Puente, no? they, they, yeah. they made like a little bridge. No, it también right es un airport. túnel. También es un túnel también. What the fuck is it? Right away. No, it's a, yeah, remember, it's a fucking tunnel. But from from the, from the La Línea, es un pinche bridge that goes también? all the way to the fucking airport, right? I can't remember cómo se llama ese pinche cruzadero. Yeah, there's a little thing, but they charge you like fucking ponle 15, 20 bucks. Pero sale, it's convenient way for them. Well, yeah, well, you, you literally go right into the airport way. Yeah. And then, then you don't have to do that big ass linea at the actual linea, you know? It's a whole fucking. Did you see that fucking door that came off of that plane way? Oh, yeah. <laughs> fucking mine at the way? Stuck out all the way. <laughs> and the pinche, f- the iPhone or some shit that survived, that flew out or some shit. Oh, there was an iPhone that flew out? Yeah, and they found it, way. <laughs> 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 no se quebró, way. What? <laughs> <laughs> they should use that for their fucking marketing, way. Yeah, well, I mean, it could only fall, fall so fast, <coughs> <right>? but. Está <coughs> cabrón. Yeah. Must have landed perfectly, no? Imagine that plane the way. But yeah, 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 and that apenas despegando, no? It was like barely taking off, so it wasn't at twenty thousand feet. Where like the whole fucking, um, it was like at six thousand feet, I think, when when that shit blew out. Oh shit! It's it's kind of amazing that there's no more like there's not a lot more accidents on planes, right? Like to to know how many fucking thousands of flights a day, and to to know that there's only like a few incidents that are get reported at least. Like it's kind of amazing when there's not more shit because like you're up in the air, you know. Yes, okay. Que ya ves, they're always fucking. Tienen probably decades now, no, complaining that there's not enough traffic control people. Shit, wait. that the system, the like traffic control system, is outdated. Way there's I don't know how many near misses every day type of shit. I mean, I think you. you, you so stuck out all way. There's a criteria for that way because I mean you can't. I don't think you could get hired under thirty, and then you have to min, uh, mandatory Retire, retirement yeah. like in your mid fifties, I think. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a small window. It's hard to have people that do that. I know, you can stuck out on way because you do long hours and shit away. No, yeah. I mean, it's, I'm sure it's stressful way. Imagine fucking, no, this is drop skate. You can just hit a button and go smoke a cigarette or fucking go <laughs> on TikTok. No, no, for, <laughs> yeah, still. Hey, <laughs> aquí, fucking raza, controlando la, los pinches. Hey, in the back way, los pinche aviones. Or, or they're on TikTok. Ay, wey, chocó un avión, wey, donde? Ay, wey. Salió una pinche puerta volando, wey, ira. Holy shit, let me get back. ¿Viste esto? Ay, wey, es. Just puffing the last. Ay, wey, let's get back to work, wey. Pero, I mean, cuando salen los list of the most, like, stressful jobs, that's always in the top five, no? Imagínate. <laughs> Hey, friend, échale ojo a mis pinches aviones, no, voy a echarme un cigarro. <laughs> Simón, güey. Acá scrolling. Simón, güey, I got you, bro. Pinche tronadera de aviones. Like, ah, fucking Bernie. Nah, dude, that, I mean, how can you live with yourself, where if you cause an accident? Yeah, Even if it's human error, I mean, that's that That must be tough, way. Yeah, that's just fucking stressful as fuck, güey. No. There was yeah. a there was an incident, no? That two planes collided, in the, uh, like about two weeks sure? ago or a week two, ago. Oh shit! Two weeks ago. Oh shit! Or about oh, a week recently? or two. Yeah, recently. I didn't hear about it. I'm trying to remember where the fuck it was. Get chocado on and shit. I'm still wondering how they lost the whole ass plane with that Malaysian airline. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Fucking <laughs> what? <laughs> they made I, a, they made a show about it, bro. It's called Lost. <laughs> no, <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> no, that's there's, not a, the there's a documentary about it. I think it's like a fucking eight, I'm ten sure part it's series. I'm like, ten, fuck, I so much. But I mean, we know the end. They really? Find it. Yeah, they can't find. They still haven't found it. They haven't found uh, it. I think they found they they found pieces way, but they haven't found. No, them. these que son pieces, but they're oh. like, yeah, nah, it's a, this is fucking manufactured. <laughs> <laughs> there's conspiracies yeah, behind it. There's conspiracies behind everything way. I mean, even even if you had the facts down and it was clear as day, there'll still be people that were like, nah, that's not what happened. <laughs> <laughs> there was an interview that I saw on, on, I forgot which website, but it was some lady getting interviewed in the 70s and she was a, sur- she was a survivor of the Titanic. No oh, shit. I mean, she was in her hundreds. I was think. her name Rose? No, it wasn't Rose. Oh, okay. But um, the lady kept saying like, yeah, the Titanic sunk. And she was like, no, it didn't sink. And then, so they kept going back and forth about it. <laughs> And the old, I mean, I don't know if she was in her hundreds. Yeah, 
But she was saying that it didn't sink, we and she was aferrada que no, it didn't sink in the. I was on that bitch. Yeah, I was on that bitch. <laughs> and the report's like, no, it, like it, it sank. It hit an iceberg, and it, it fucking had a gash. And she's like, no, it didn't. And then I was like, what the fuck? Were you? It was a beautiful voyage. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so weird. Like, what the fuck? Were you? I mean, I'm not saying that it didn't sink, but it's just funny that. That somebody that was actually there, and you could say like, ah, well, she's an old way, so the full of money. A little senile, possibly, but it's still pretty interesting, way. Oh no <laughs> shit! No, que me vas a decir a mí? Yo estuve ahí, Yeah, she's looking at her like weird way, like, wait, what? What do you mean? <laughs> it didn't sink. <laughs> and then te, te la regresa. It sunk. I'm still here, and I was on it. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> shit, yeah, who who knows what to believe nowadays, way? No oh, shit! Oh, you. <laughs> Did you guys hear about those fucking tunnels in in New York by the no. what is it the um, I don't the know. Jewish community? The Jewish community had tunnels and shit in New York way. Yeah, they build them so they can go to um during COVID so they can roam under the city and and attend like oh shit. Yeah, but it was. I guess it was uh, <laughs> obviously done illegally way, <clears throat> but um the cops came no. Like the cops oh, oh, shit. Shit. During COVID they Hasidic. made tunnels I think, I think they were Hasidic Jews no? Yeah Yeah they made tunnels Cause they got a bunch of Undocumented rasa To help them build their way It's ah, almost expertos now yeah. 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 We learned from the Germans Apparently no So <laughs> <laughs> Yeah remember That's all the fucking car Cartels were bringing in Like fucking German engineers and shit Oh like. shit I didn't know that one Así aprendimos a hacer Chingonas tunnels we Fucking name, uh, outsource it, and then we jack it. And then oh, they no. took us to New York, apparently, to build fucking tunnels. Oh, I'll show you. A ver, mister. Mira, quieren, quieren uno como el Chapo, o más, más, más ancho. Quieren moverse, quieren caminar, quieren andar agachaditos. ¿Cómo, cómo está el pedo? A ver. I mean, not, not to talk shit about New Yorker, but every time there's, like, police or anything has to do with, like, stuff like that, it just looks like satire. Like, it doesn't look like, like, what are you guys doing? Real? Like, what, cops, the way people act, like, I mean, I'm not saying that the cops should wow. beat them up and fucking tase them, but it's just the way that, that I, I see a lot of interactions with police and, like, the community. It just looks like satire. Or like, what the fuck are you guys doing over there? <laughs> Instead of like, satire. Yeah, at first I had no idea what the fuck. I'm like, ¿qué es this cabrón? Because I'm like, is this the Jewish mafia or what? You know? <laughs> what are you moving pinches ladrillos también ahora? Like, what the fuck's going on? Gotta hustle, bro. Yeah. But apparently, yeah, it was to move around. But then there was... A, it, uh, El Desmadre was always like 20-year-olds. And apparently it's... Ah, fuck. I should have more information about it. <laughs> I, That's never stopped this Yeah. I, I'm trying to remember exactly <laughs> just, what it was. Just make something up, man. It, it was... It was <laughs> It was in regards to like a, it's a one of anyways. <laughs> it was in regards to somebody that they looked up to before. Like it was a like one of their uh, rabbis or something, and that he wanted to use this to move around, you know, in the buildings, without fucking exposing themselves to something. And I think that was going with that prophecy. And then this one, this madre way. Mm -hmm. That's fucking weird. I mean, I read it was because of COVID, where they wanted to go in uh, back and forth through um through their whatever it is mass or what I don't know their, I don't know their they language sneak Sample. into the synagogue or whatever yeah that's what it was yeah oh shit <clears throat> pero no no es como no son pinches no son pinches I mean tienes que estar a gatas a lo que estaba viendo and shit you gotta be fucking crawling they don't mm. have a little fucking chapel train no 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 little <laughs> chapel train no little track <laughs> they're like let's hire some Mexicans they know how to build this <laughs> they'll, they'll put a train in for us yeah like si, si, si quieres le podemos poner un este un booster como el coyote ese que <laughs> <laughs> el de Vox Bunny <laughs> Nunca llegó el electricista Por eso no tenía luz <laughs> Yeah, fucking so <laughs> Ese güey lo regresaron So yeah, so they, I guess they were showing I mean, they were showing the, Like the tunnels and everything But I was like Ah, oh, fucking hey I'm like It's a lot of fucking trouble <laughs> You know, fucking mix. You know, se van a hacerlo, pues háganlo con pasillos. But are you, the, con pasillos. Are, you, are you in the camp que déjalos, let them do whatever they want? Or? Nah. No, no, fucking, a rato fucking they hit a, a little pocket or something, se cae un pinche edificio, whatever. <laughs> hey, I'm wait, chilling well, in my apartment. I know, fucking, are you like, hasta pa' allá, quiero ver la pinche tele a gusto. Dude, imagine if... if <laughs> and after the apartment collapses. 
Madres. Madre, well, I didn't mean, I didn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Imagine if they would have struck gold away. I mean, uh, oil in fucking New York. Oh, <laughs> imagine. What? Jesus. Fucking, they got a, a brand new fucking facility. Everything's all state of the art. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, no, it's not tunnels. That's fucking crazy, man. I mean, there was, there's been tons. I mean, they say Boston has a bunch of tunnels under from like the Mason days and all that shit, no? Yeah, no, but so we've talked about it like, in Westwood and UCLA has a bunch of yeah. tunnels, way. They, they, that they go into the little, the little centro, pues. Like, the fuck, they, it's fuck, they're crazy, way. But, okay, um, yeah, but I'm saying these are like fucking narco tunnels, way. Yeah. So you can go to church. Shit. So that's, that's crazy, way. Yeah. No, but I mean, the other tunnels that cut into mine is when we were working in Channel Islands and shit. There tunnels. was tunnels between the buildings so that when, because before it was a school, it was a, a mental facility. Mm -hmm. So, si alguien fallecía and they had to get them from one building to the morgue or whatever, they don't want to cross them to the top. So, so todos los cruzaban por el túnel. Oh, shit. Por debajo and shit. Mm -hmm. You know, but those are fucking creepy. Those are creepy too, boy. Yeah, are those yeah. these old like World War Two era like tunnels? That's what these are, no? But I mean, isn't like uh, London or England fucking built on top of an old city? And there's I mean a lot of tunnels down there and shit. And I don't know. Well, they re they rebuilt it after no. I mean, yeah, I don't. <clears throat> but stuck out on way. Those tunnels are always scary as fuck. Ramon's like, you gotta line those those tunnels with fucking skulls. Yeah, yeah fucking. Pa que valga la pena. Keep it authentic, eh? Shit, we've been in some of them that are full of skulls, remember? In, in Peru? Yeah, we, yeah, we went smelled, underground. It smelled, bro. We, we went underground, bro. We went into the <laughs> depths of darkness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was a it was a church. Ah, uh, see, uh, I see a connection. It was a church, and I, I think we went. To, like, what was it? A spiral down case? I mean, no, or something like that. And then we're walking in the fucking tunnels, and there was like a, a wooden bridge, uh -huh. and then you looked on both sides, and there was a bunch of human bones and, and skulls. skulls and everything, yeah, and it smelled. It smelled. Thing. It smelled. Uh, it felt. It yeah. felt. It, it it's, felt weird. Uh, see, it's a thing. I'm telling you. It was humid, fucking. Was that famous Smell. one in, in France too? No, yeah. fucking. We tried to go into that one, but no alcanzamos. But and it was all people from the church, no, because they morían and then they they would just stay there with their bones and stuff. This que, este way quotes. This que, quotes. But we it, it was a trippy church where it, it had a, like a gothic um, architecture too. There was like gargoyles and shit, right? Remember? Yeah, it was trippy. Man. It's yeah. interesting. It was a, but yeah, yeah it's it one European, of those where like, ah, oh, shit. Yeah, very European way. Porque veas, trying to conquistar, well, not trying, no, fucking. I mean, the, the, sometimes the church gets away with whatever they want, no? Oh, for sure. We. I mean, I'm not I'm not saying that here in L.A. you got fucking, uh, who's the cardinal? Is Mahoney still the cardinal? Uh, yeah, I'm not saying he died. I think he died. I think he died or he's sick or he's dying or something. Way, sure. I don't know. I don't know any yeah. fucking... I mean, do you think that some of these like Catholic and or, or some of these church historic churches in LA or big cities, do you think they have some shit like that? Oh like, fuck yeah! Think, no, oh. like fucking oh. skulls and shit. Like, uh, yeah, oh. but then it wasn't like uh, I'm, I think I it was know. in Canada that they found like a lot of these old schools that were commons that they found all these bones of dead children. Germany too, where yeah, I'm sure there's something out here and fucking and what is it? Um. Santa Barbara, or where are all those missions? Ways, no, 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 where are all those missions? There's missions no, no. are all the way San, up San Juan California. Capistano. San Juan Capistano, and then... All um, the San, whatever. Yeah, the, whatever. San Diego, there's a mission. There's a mission, San, San I'm Gabriel. Sure, I'm sure there's, there's a fucking... mission down the street for me. <laughs> oh, yeah, está. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Every San has a fucking mission. And they go all the way up the coast, so everyone you're saying has bodies under it? I'm sure they do. <laughs> wow, dude. <laughs> that's, that's a, just, I'm sure there's a, a fucking big claim history, way. dude. There's some, I mean, imagine that back in the days you got away with, with murder, literally. You know, oh, all in the name of church or all in the name of a miracle. Or all I, I like how you say back in the day where... <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like if I mean, it's not happening tense. right now. <laughs> I mean, now it's like, eh, alguien te agarra con un pinche celular o algo haciendo pinche desmadre. Like someone's doing a TikTok and shit. Y te agarran, yeah, it's, you gotta be a little bit more cautious now. I mean, not that you can't get away with it, but mm, sure. I mean, some would argue that the church is more powerful now than it was in those days, right? Because... I don't think, like, when we are talking about, like, the missions, there was no, I don't think religion was as corporate as it is now. And, like, you talk about owning banks, owning fucking real estate, like, businesses. Like, I mean, I feel like it's it's more, 
um, they have more skin in like the 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 business aspect like of corporate. things. Yeah, it's more like yeah. a corporate. So I'm sure there's way more shit happening now than when these people were running these missions. Like now, it's like fuck. There's a lot of shit that they control. Where there's they have one of the biggest fucking art collections in the world. Where like I mean, these yeah, are it's not the biggest. This one. is like a corporation. Where I mean, no, they have they, they literally have fucking in their in their tunnels way they have. Priceless fucking artifacts, way and artworks and statues and way. So tan cabrones, way. Yeah, I feel like there's more happening now than in those days, way. They just we just don't hear about it because they have a lot of money, way. How are we gonna hear about it? Like how many fucking people get accused of molesting kids and then they just transfer them over to Ireland or send them to Italy or South America and then then what happens? Vatican City. Yeah, no, I don't know. Wait, we got a lot of fucking franchises, bro. It's crazy. Uh, <laughs> but did you hear about the tunnels in New York? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, wait, right away, se la vientan. <laughs> right away. Mm. Yeah, it's crazy, wey. So, no, yeah, está ta, ta, muy vergas, wey. Está cabrón el ambiente en la, en la iglesia. Uh, uh, yeah, all kinds of That's shit. dedication, bro. You're building tunnels, wey. That one, yeah, this is too. That was a little weird. I'm like, okay, so I mean, all right, it's illegal. I see the, I, I can see the dangers of it. Yeah, I can <laughs> see it. If your apartment collapses, <laughs> way. seriously, way. <laughs> I can, I can they ruin the structural integrity of your building. They end up in Netflix and all of a sudden, <laughs> oh shit! Dije que te quites. Oh shit, that's not what I, I meant. Disculpa, mija. Ah. Y, y ahí en New York, way mostly it's all like apartments and like there's yeah. no like homes, like actual like. No, I mean, yeah. th- those are homes, but I'm saying like. Like an actual house that's not like connected to. They're it. all yeah, they're all buildings. Everything's all all, all high. You can't really expand because it's all like a fucking island. I think at least in Manhattan. That's that's what um I read something on San Francisco where that's why rent's so expensive over there is because the the property is limited. Like you're not allowed to build homes in San Francisco like that anymore. Like yeah, it's all like apartments and like shit like that way. So. The fact that that's a thing, it's kind of crazy to me where that that people can go for that and say yeah, that's fine. Let let, let that be a thing where. Because it prices out a lot of people where it's just expensive. I, I don't even know how people survive in San Francisco, to be honest with you. Like, That's all that tech money, though. No, no. I'm talking about people that work like a oh. fucking the grocery store. Fucking, like, yeah, the like just regular day folks. Wait, how the fuck do they survive? Wait, well, like, they don't, most of them don't even live there anymore. No, they, they move out to the Oakland or whatever. Yeah, San no San yeah. And even those are fucking, I hear they're, you're getting priced out of and shit because that's where all the other people... Yeah, o- Oakland's definitely getting uh, gentrified for sure with the past 10, 15 years. Yeah, so even that, you start getting p- pushed out further and further away. E- Oakland's not like a chill city where there's a lot of crime happening in Oakland. So I'm sure like these people don't like these people coming in. Like, kind of como si el pedo en Echo Park where they were upset that they were coming in. Yeah, Silver Lake Echo Park. And then they're like now Barrow Heights and East LA and shit. Or like they're just. Start expanding, yeah. They're, they're, they're going further east. No. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Because I mean Highland Park was a fucking hood area, no? Like well, the avenues are out there. Yeah, but now it's like that's where the hipsters go to yeah. fucking raise that's, families now. That's where they go play music at the goldfish. And, <laughs> and that's where the hipsters have podcast events at the fucking <laughs> Nativo. Nativo. <laughs> <laughs> We're part of the problem, bro. <laughs> <laughs> We're b- fucking bougie Chicanos, wey. <laughs> <laughs> no queremos cualquier bar, wey. Nah, no queremos cualquier bar, wey. We, we fucking... walked into a few places and we're like, hay ficheras. No, nah, 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 come on. Nah, come on, bro. Nah, this, guy, this, this has Bud Light banners everywhere. Yeah, this, nah, 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 not, nah. not the vibe, This guy's Bud Light specials. Of course, no, no, no. Tienen mojitos aquí, no, puro mojado. Nah, ni madre, vámonos. Wow. Puro mojado. Wow. Dude, you're fucking... Wow. You're crazy, güey. <laughs> uh, no, this is not... Wow. Un corriente aquí para nosotros. Nah, esto no. Este, güey... ¿Estás escuchando a tu as, amigo, güey? As soon as... Oh, yeah, I know my amigo. <laughs> and as soon as we went into Nativo... Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. This is it right here. This is it right here. Yeah. I like this. I feel comfortable here. Yeah. How much is the beer? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's fine. So oh. $20 margarita? Yeah, this is it right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, gotcha. We got it. 
Chicano Shuffle. ¿Qué eh, entramos al The More Pies? ¿Qué tipo de sal usan aquí? No, oh, usamos la sal de la, de la muchacha con el umbrella. <risa> nah, 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 nah. La que hice de, de mesa. <risa> <risa> No, 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 no es Pink Himalayan. No, 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 no. A mi amigo le gusta la gruesa. De sal, güey. La sal, oh, sí, sí, es cierto, es cierto, sí me gusta. Sí me gusta la sal gruesa. The thick crystals, güey. No, no, like... Los cristales gruesos. Sí, sí, no es cierto. Ah, no, ya me tenías ahí. I got a... Ya me tenías ahí. Disclaimer, güey. I thought I'd like to... He liked to grind his own way on his little... Oh, yeah. We do have that one, too. I have that one, too, güey. The Pink Himalayan, güey. Come on, bro. I like to feel fancy sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> no, oh, no, shit. de pinche con el saler, con nah. el saler, con la, la, el salero con la pinche el arroz, güey. Nah. <laughs> con el arroz, con el arroz, ya. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> en los mariscos. <laughs> Porque ya ves, esa madre se hace piedra. Yeah. Uh, fuck that, eh. That's why he likes the ones that really That's come in right, boulders. That's right, güey, con el arroz. <laughs> Let's skip a step. I just want the boulder. <laughs> I remember seeing this. Like, what the fuck that is, is this? That is funny, güey. El arroz, güey. You know? And then uh, not only that, but uh, like in the, 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 like the tias or whatever, they used to have the little saleros, saleros right? And then um, fucking, tenía como 10 hoyos and only two of them where you could see through so you get the toothpick to break the other ones yeah, out and yeah, shit. Yeah. Well, apparently there's one of those like the fancy salts, no? like the pink Himalaya one. Mm-hmm. Like, una de México, no? That's fucking supposed to be really good. Oh, really? No, I, I don't remember know. what it's called. Fuck. El salado. I'm being trying to remember, but there's one apparently que it's up there with the pink Himalayan or even like mejor or some shit. Oh, really? Depends who you talk to type of shit. Oh, shit. Sure. But que es de México. La neta que sí le da different flavor, though, the salt, way. The different salt, like the, the pink Himalayan. Yeah, but I don't think the pink Himalayan goes with a fucking, like a michelada or like, you know, something like no, that. No, well, no way. I'm talking uh, about like why cooking. Not? I don't know. Sale por Vinci. Se me la está cobrando. Although, although, I don't know if you guys remember this. In Mexico, I remember that the salt over there was not as fucking fine as the one over here. It was like, it was a little bit rockier over there. Well, yeah. it's because the one here is that, that, yeah. thing, that, that table one. That, that, the one that's the worst one for you, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. That really fine. So I remember ya que fucking pinche le echaban de ese pinche salo los cueritos o whatever. Like, what the fuck is that? You know, que tal los piedras and shit. That's why I like that one. Yeah, I'm all like, eh. I like to keep it real. Está buena, güey. Está buena. Yeah. yeah, no, once you have it, yeah, it was good. And then you come back over here, and it's like, fuck. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Para esa azúcar, esta yeah. pinche sal. <laughs> Dude, it's like, I don't know if you ever had that fucking, that, that, that little fucking adjustment period, because when you went over there, al menos aquí, las pinches coras or whatever, like, you know, you could tell a, a quarter size, you know? It's like, oh, this is a big coin. You know, so yeah, Mexico, Mexico is like, haz tu lado, güey. Deja tu señor lo que es un pinche peso. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty fucking Oh, oversized. the old school ones, yeah. especially. Remember the fucking... Yeah, fucking, and then you would come back over here, and then it's like, what the fuck? It's like fucking child's what is this, Yeah, What is fake money? I know. <laughs> yeah, that's true, güey. That's true. Pinche dinero de hombres allá. But the bills, I don't know the last time you felt a bill in Mexico. It was the last Plastic. time. Plastic. Yeah. It, it, it kind of feels like that, that sheet that they use to like take off the grease from your face. Like it has like a weird, Ooh. like a weird paper texture with it. Like I don't, yeah, I'm not a big a, fan. Yeah, no, but, but, but it's, they, their money always seemed like very high tech, no? Like fucking, remember for, I don't know, yeah. does it still have the little window? Like, yeah, the it window? does. Yeah. It does, yeah. Like, a <laughs> you're looking at it it's like, ah, it's too bien. Pero los bills are like tiny way compared to the bills here. Yeah, yeah. And it's weird because the coins still like the, the, the 10 pesos or whatever. No, it's but, still big. Until los pinches billetes, it was like a fucking, you need a big fucking wallet for those yeah. pinches billetes. I, I mean, I wonder if they're really like more high tech, boys. Like the bills, you know, fucking compared to us. Uh, yeah, it's it's. It, I mean, we we know we know we've heard about like the the bills getting falsified here. I mean, I, I wonder if it's easy in Mexico or if it's harder to falsify. Yeah, well, the bills. I, w- I wonder if it, uh, I'm saying if it's more tan más avanzados, like the little fucking clear holographic window and all that shit. Porque también I remember they had the the little chip because the little chip like on the on the credit cards and the debits. That shit hit in Europe like fucking two decades before we started using it. I remember they had it in Mexico way, and I was like, oh shit, they're bringing the little chips here. It was, I remember seeing them as a kid, like in Mexico, people using the little chip on the card. Mm. And and más avanzados in Mexico. So even, sea. even like, the, I think we've talked about this before. Even the fucking payphones used to look like fucking futuristic. Remember? Yeah. They did, yeah. The, the, the payphones, you're like, what the fuck? Are you could like use your, your pinche la tarjeta de saldo tenía, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, que tenía chip. Uh-huh. The, the, the mm. little payphone card had a chip. The, the fucking chip we use for the card credit cards now, they used it for everything for like decades. Yeah, the only thing I see, man, like fucking, it was a, 
Like, uh, my cousins be like, they need to buy tarjetas de saldo for their cell phones and shit. Yeah, mm -hmm. like prepaid. Yeah. That's just because they transferred, not like how it is now, but they transferred hard for the fucking cell phone, no? Yeah. So like, ah, oh, no tengo saldo. Vamos a comprar una tarjeta. Like, what? What the fuck are you talking about? Like, ah, oh, all right. I get it. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking. But yeah, there's a lot of little things way that that they have that that's more European, boys. That they 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 seems more advanced, way. But who can say? I'm not sure if they even still have payphones out there. I'm sure they do, no? Like more than here. I would think they use them. Because I'm mean, the raza más grande. I mean, I feel like. No ah, están en el pinche, and están en el pinche rancho. La, los tíos tienen pinche celular up there and shit. Yeah. You know? Oh, okay. Shit. Yeah, they're like you. The reception's pretty good, or más o menos. Yeah, <laughs> the reception's pretty good. Now they have the, like the little cell towers and everything. Well, they got the, the Chinese fucking cell towers. Yeah. Right, you know? <laughs> okay. Remember the ones that they're saying here? They. That's the Carlos Slim business, también, no? The telecommunication. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah That's why it's a fucking. They, they, there was a lot of shit going on over there, man. Like you see, like you know, my my mom talking to my tías or whatever, and it fucking looks clear, dude. <clears throat> Or like on uh, like video, on video, yeah. Oh, they sure. do a lot of video. They do the WhatsApp video. They used to do the what was the other one? Um, oh shit, there was a Skype. They used to do the Skype. No, crees que la tecnología affected the raza out there in the sense that they can worry more about you because they can literally see how you're doing. Like before, how many stories did we hear about? Like my dad would tell me that. When, when they came here, like in the s late 70s, 80s, they, they would take pictures in front of cars that weren't theirs and send it to their family so they uh, won't worry. Ya la hice. Y con video, I mean, it's not like you could hide the fact that you're fucking, you're struggling, where <laughs> They probably worry more now that technology, era, though. Era, they era catch at the wrong moment, viviendo, too. Estoy viviendo en Beverly Hills, <laughs> you know? En la foto, güey, in front of the Beverly Hills sign. <laughs> 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 Fucking, it is the pinche estacionaba los carros and shit in a big old mansion. Era, era más lo que me compré. Mándame dinero, pues. Ahorita no se puede, man. No, ¿sabe cuánto es el impuesto de la propiedad? Aquí está cara, man. Aquí sí se trabaja, man. Aquí, no, no. Pero yo, obra, obra, man. Cuando tenga un poquito más de ahorrado, le mando. Damn, bro. Yeah, it seems like they, yeah, like I said, they have, they have some stuff that they, I wonder sometimes, where, like, it's more European stuff. That's what I'm saying. You wonder if it's a good thing or a bad thing? Or what yeah, like like the, we're saying, like the money way. Is that money, it looks more avanzado, no? It looks kind of like futuristic money for like a long time. Like they'd always seem more futuristic than ours because ours still, yeah, se mira fucking, like would you imagine money because we grew up with that one. It, like the telefonos and shit like that, like I'm saying, like the, the public phones, the chips on the cards, you know, all that shit they've had before because it was a European thing. There's cars, pues, que llegan allí, que we're literally like, fucking two hours away, way, and they got cars that you, you've never seen in your life here, way. Yeah. And brands sure. that fucking we've never seen in our life here, but they're literally two hours away, way. El Tusuru. I mean, that, that no, could, that's a Nissan. That I mean, but that, I'm saying they have like the, the Peugeots and the. That could also Renaults. be a, a US regulation thing where they're not, they don't want a different competitions here, way. I mean, that's what's happening like in China too, where they're not letting certain like, like, uh, Certain cell phones and certain businesses uh, do business here. I'm sure the U.S. has something to do with that. Também, way that they don't let these these car companies. They probably have these like fictitious guidelines that they need to follow. That they can't. It's impossible for their metrics to make money to to make cars that can be here. And then you can argue them in that they don't they they don't give a shit as much of Mexican uh, nationals or citizens that they let cars that are maybe not so beneficial for them drive out there that emit more fucking smog or whatever i mean i don't know i mean there could be a lot of things way well i mean some of these some not all of them way porque there's there's other ones that they've never come here but some of them have come here pues and they they didn't make money here so they just pulled out way. like they, they, they just like the culture has always fucking been to bigger cars faster cars and some of these their their the fucking their money makers pues are the small European cars pues que in Mexico todavía se usan pues aquí ya ves little car fucking everybody will go for the suburban over the fucking little car way as it is fucking ya ves Ford doesn't even make fucking sedans anymore no did you guys hear that new patent that Ford's getting which one well, they're, they're, they just apply for a patent that um <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of fucked up way but I mean it's kind of funny but it's kind of fucked up. <laughs> Self repoing cars, where <laughs> self repoing yeah. cars like so they drive themselves they, home? They, that if you don't pay the null, they're gonna drive themselves to the fucking to the, nearest, uh, like 
Ford dealership. Is, oh, right. shit. And then they, supposedly it's going to start off, like the pen says that they're, it's going to start off like with warnings. First, your AC is not going to work. Your, <laughs> your radio. It's going to play noises that yeah. are fucking loud and weird. <laughs> oh, shit. And then if you if you say, yeah, fuck you guys, and you go around it, eventually the final boss is that shit just going to drive itself to the fucking... When you go meet me, the car's yeah. going, driving itself home? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> you, know, you know what's funny? Is that I said that to El Jericho because uh-huh. a few a few months right ago, away, no, no, no. This. <laughs> a few months ago, I think uh, one of the guys there, Barlos, bought uh, one of the Mustangs, the EV Mustangs, right? Mm. And they were talking about it, like, hey, so if your car, if you miss a payment, is your car gonna drive itself back to the lot? <laughs> Everybody not. was cracking up and laughing their asses off. I, I, and fucking, like I made a good joke. Fucking. Like, what was it, this month or last month is when I saw that article, Tavir, and I'm all like, holy shit, it's still Monday, you know? Yeah, but, dude, it's crazy. But I was I was tripping out with the whole fucking, yeah, it's going to give, there's there's going to be signs, like, hey. There's going to be warnings, like. Hey, you owe this. No te hagas pendejo. You know, when you turn it on and the screen tells you, now, hey, wey, no manejes and touching, that I said, hey, y te pago que pedo. Where's my money at? <laughs> hey, yeah, and then, later, and then fucking the next message next week is going to be like, hey, hey, bitch. I'm gonna pay or what? <laughs> it's probably gonna come with a card reader that you can just literally <laughs> <laughs> buy yourself the day. No, no, vas, no, vas a pagar. You can't see how fast you're going. <laughs> oh, holy shit. <laughs> uh, oh, Get by those speed que cameras now, puto. Que no vas a pagar. Ahí estaba puro pinche peso pluma, wey. On replay. <laughs> so, Oscar, you're gonna have to drive now with the fucking seat all back, all gangster way. Like. Oh, fucking man. <laughs> My back. Uh, <laughs> or it's, oh. it's gonna make itself heavier so you can waste more gas wave. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna keep the brakes on just a little yeah. bit. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna so wear all getting, the juice. So I was getting, you can't drive past 35 now, cabron. <laughs> no you can't go on the you. freeway. Way. Yeah. Oh no, it's coming, bro. Oh, yeah. It's coming. It's fucking 97 degrees. <laughs> ah, so let's, get, let's turn up the heat in here. <laughs> oh, <it's laughs> puta madre, uh, see, no hey, we can't roll down the windows. No. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> hey, hey, you wanna you wanna stop this? Just tap your card on the screen. That's man. it, that's all you gotta do. <laughs> you know man. what? We joking around and everything, but a ver cabrón is like por mis huevos, ahora no pago. Hey wait, he's he, the person's driving on Friday night, he got paid. <laughs> The car, the fucking Mustang. Are you seriously going to Kulichi Town again? <laughs> no, no. You got money for no. Kulichi Town again. But you ain't got money El to carro pay. No, <laughs> no, no. Nope. As soon as you're putting in the fucking navigation, you, nope. You nope. put the address to Kulichi Town and have a nice meal, and it sends you to the Ford dealer. <laughs> Te manda al banco, güey. Y están los cabrones, little Billy Club. Qué vale, cabrón. Holy oh, shit. Wow. Hey, ¿dónde está Ramón? I don't know, bro. His car drove to the Ford dealer. He didn't pay. Jokes on you. I drive a Chevy, puto. Oh, shit. Wow. Hey, wait, well, Chevy's going to fuck. Well, no, you, uh, that's the thing, with The older cars are going to get expensive, I guess. Yeah. They're fucking. <laughs> you can't hack my shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's not self-driving, but I'm sure they could do something to it. I wait. I saw that fucking Die Hard. <laughs> die Hard. <laughs> yeah. Do you, you remember that Die Hard movie where, like, supposedly there's a fire sale? I forgot you live your life according to the movies. What the fuck? Like, yeah, there's a the the Jason can. Long fucking. They got the OnStar and then the, the operator uh, could turn it on remotely and shit and everything. So I'm like, oh, fuck. <sighs> That's Some of these cars get controlled. That's funny, but Pincho's a good pattern wing. I, like I mean, it. Uh, it, it, it's going to come with some... I mean, like, what happens if this this thing runs a red light and it hits you? Who, 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 do you get sue the Ford dealer? Or? Hey, I didn't pay for this shit. It was <laughs> not mine. <laughs> yeah, it right. was driving itself back. It reclaimed yeah, itself. It was, it was, hey, I, was, <laughs> I was trying to prevent from it from killing people. <laughs> <laughs> I was driving 35 all day long. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't by choice. Eh? It doesn't matter, hey. does it? I'm, I'm saying cuando vas solo the car back to the Ford dealer oh, and, yeah, and, no, and then accidentally takes the red light and you're like bam we know. So I mean it's gonna it's gonna be interesting man. that I sucks hope, I, I, w- I would assume they hopefully they have it figured out by then but um, that sucks <laughs> <laughs> imagine el primer cabrón que le va a pasar eso <laughs> 
mi carro. We should, we should have fucking a pool. Like, all right, ¿qué va a ser? Raza. Va a ser. Oh, right away. Wow. Wait. Right away. Va a ser vato. Va a ser mujer. Wow. Right away. Let me fucking get a little pool hey, going. Hey, hey, I need to report my car stolen. Uh, no, it's not here that is repo. It's on its way to the Ford dealer as we speak. Did, did you oh. check your, your, your app messages, güey? Porque ahí está decir cuánto debes. It's kind of scary way when you think about it. Way. I mean, it's fun, it's funny, whatever. But the fact that they have that much control, I mean, <clears throat> that's what they were afraid of with the whole CBDC, the digital coin that the government was trying to uh, put out, was that if you have like, a, if you're a felon or shit like that, it's going to be like, you can't spend money here, you can't spend money there. I mean, that's kind of scary to think that we can live in that society where we're, your card's not going to be valid in certain places because it's technically a Fed coin, the CBDC, and they control it. They can tell you where you can spend your money. I mean, I know it sounds like fucking conspiracy theory, but I mean, that could be a reality, way. Right? I mean, that's fucking <clears throat> EBT or whatever. No, is that what they're called now? The fucking buffer checks, the little cartita? Yeah. I mean, the cartita knows like what, it, what you can buy with it or not, way. Right? You can buy fucking cornflakes and all this, but hey, get un pinche un fucking three pack the tall boys. Chale. Yeah, te lo no, te lo pone, te, te lo pone separado, I think, or some shit, way. But does it does it control like the type of food that you buy, or you can buy any type of food? No, I, I mean, there, there's the, the approved like stuff that you can buy, and the, the stuff that's not approved, it won't it won't let you charge it, pues. So like, I guess I don't know if it's the systems, the supermarket systems, or whatever that have to implement a thing. Que, but I'm yeah. not saying like beer. I'm saying like, yeah, like, like, cause there, there was years back. I remember the argument that people were saying is really insensitive where they were like, they shouldn't let people buy junk shit with EBT. You should only be able to buy like meats or vegetables, poultry, vegetables, no, none of the fucking sugar drinks and any of that shit. So it, it was, I remember that being a debate and people were saying, well, you can't do that like this and that. So you're saying that they could do it like that or, or <laughs> see, that's to the supermarket now, please. They sell a lot of shit now, eh? like they're not just vending la comida anymore. Say you want to buy fucking something that's not approved. Like I've seen, I've seen it because una una señora more than once in front of Kobe me. Kobe beef is not approved. Like, like the thing oh, was split. Fuck, your... I can buy my ribeye with. <laughs> yeah, I can't get my my Coke Zero. Quiero quiero mi ranchera preparada, no no preparada. <laughs> hey, hey, estas estas papas mollos. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Agarre papas sazonadas, no papas mollos. Tienes que comprar la papa entera. Preparada. <laughs> y, y, y el Lori seasoning <laughs> Lori seasoning extra <laughs> pero no 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 hecha la carne preparada that's hilarious <laughs> pues yo quiero mi ranchera preparada pues es que quiero no hacer una carne asada no no ni madre no 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 tienes que papar la cebolla está en IO2 señora me da un un pollo rostizado no no, no, no. el pollo ya y rostizo los no pero sabes que wey I know Northgate no se puede usar the EBT in, in the, the kitchen in the, in the food that's warm oh yeah the, the, no. oh you can't oh no, shit no. so we're, we're joking but it's no no, no, no but because true. it's already cooked yeah it's different I mean oh. technically it's food I yeah. get it I mean it's one of those so por decir si llevas tus groceries pues tus cebollas yeah. and your stuff y tienes un rotisserie or at least the, the way I I've seen it happen is con when you go to pay the system alone, like as soon as you put your, your EBT card thing, they will cover everything minus that fucking yeah, rotisserie. Yeah, that's a part. My, my, my dad was No, on, but I'm saying you don't, you don't even have to like separate it. Like no, the, no, the, the system separates yeah. it for you. My dad was on food stamps, right? So I, oh, every yeah. time I took him to the store, it was like uh, some of the stuff that was approved, I used this card and then the, the then she'll be like, oh, it's 25 bucks and then I will use my debit card. Like, yeah, yeah like he's, yeah. he's right. It automatically so does I'm saying, it. So I mean, they already do it, wait, and like we're saying, like that chicken, way, like that chicken food and those chickens are pretty cheap, wait. That's a cheap yeah, way to feed no, a fucking... Comprate el pollo en la carnicería. Yeah, that yeah, is a cheap way to feed up. That's a seven dollar fucking chicken. Yeah, and you feed the fucking yeah. little family of four way, mm -hmm. yeah. and no, tienes que cambiar dos tres jales way. Why, why I don't know why that chicken would be included way, but yeah. it's just it because it is, it's because it's cooked. It's like I know, uh, but I'm saying that yeah, it's it food, makes no though. sense. It's, yeah. It's, yeah, it doesn't make sense way. I guess it's liabilities. If enfermas or algo, you can't fucking sue. The, you know, no, it's just some uh, antiquated shit. No, they're like, just trying to make money off of no. it. Yeah. I mean, it's not that they're not getting paid way. They're still making money if they could buy it with EBT. I mean, yeah, they still get their money. No, but I'm saying most places, the, the those chickens, pues, no, 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 le sacan. Like the Costco ones, no le sacan. Mm -hmm. The supermarket ones, I see, like the Walmart yeah. one, they, they price them, pues, it's one of those. Uh, 
things to get you, pues. Oh, I'm gonna go get a chicken, and then you get sa but, some extra sazón. I mean, they are dollars. convenient way. Fucking yeah. seven, eight dollars for a whole ass chicken. Y luego viene con frijoles, arroz, yeah. tortillitas, no, una no, salsa. That one, way. I'm talking no, about the way. one that's in the bag yeah, with the yeah. fucking heater. Oh, hasta <laughs> what is it? Oh, it's like if you go to the kitchen, you grab the no, combo meal, the no, family meal. I'm, I don't know if this guy was yeah, talking about no, the same chicken. No, no, I'm talking about the one you're talking about. The bag chicken that you just grab. I'm saying like the Costco one. Yeah, the little. And the little, yeah, the little container. Sometimes in the yeah. bag, like he's saying. Oh, I never got in the bag one. That some places have it, oh, like okay. you said, it comes like in a bag with the little yeah. handle on top yeah. of the I windows on the it, side. I think I've seen it like at Ralph's. Yeah, Ralph's, Stater yeah. Brothers. Yeah, Walmart, they have Walmart those. has them. Yeah, but no, like in uh, in the North Cape, that's like Ramon quiere el combo, güey, con yeah. arroz, frijoles, <laughs> tortillas. <laughs> eh, me da una salsita también. No, no viene con el combo hey, dos. Hey, mi, mi amigo dijo que es siete baros, ¿verdad? Siete no, baros. No, pero, oiga, okay, y me da las papas sazonadas también. Ah, cómo, mira, cómo me encantan. Y unos platanitos ahí. <laughs> <laughs> Ya, este güey, estás cabrón, güey. Che, no, boludo. Voy a pagar con el EBT. Ah, no. Chinguen a su madre. Ah, no, no lo quiero. Entonces, no. Eh, no, no, guarda el todo, pues. No. Pinche orden toda chingona, güey. Que no, no puede EBT, ah. güey. Ah, oh, entonces, no, me arrepentí. Y esto es pinche mafia. <risa> esto es mafia. Es que es convenient, güey. Imagine buying a whole ass chicken and you have to cook it still, güey. I mean, yeah. I get it, güey. And they, yeah, güey, that's what I'm saying. They, that, that, that part just makes sense. But I'm saying, yeah, so the... So can they do it? They can and they would do it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you're not, those fears are, are pretty real. So, yeah. Lo que no sé. I would argue. Lo que no sé, güey, no me acuerdo que if, if you buy like poultry or beef like from the butcher, is that all, can that be paid with EBT? That I don't remember. I, I don't I'm know. not sure of all, of all the rules, güey, pero I'm saying. Like, all I, I know, know is that que no puede ser preparada, güey. That's it. No puede ser preparada? No, tiene que, yeah. Fuck it, así como viene. No, 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 es unos, vistes, unos diez millos así, güey, con pinche... Um, you know, pa milanesa, nah, ni I mean, a mi dad le daban 100 bucks a month, way. I mean, no, no cansaba for much. Lo que mm. le ayudó es that he, he, he... Que tenía we, hijo que le compraba. <laughs> el hijo su, le compraba. Su pollo yeah. rosizado. No, pero we, we had signed up for it for a long time and it took fucking months to fucking up, get approved for some reason. And so when it was finally approved, they, they gave him like $2,000 of back. Oh, shit. So esa madre le duró todo el pinche, like for fucking a year or two, way. It was, it was a lot because no compraba mucho. And then most of the shit que le gustaba was on my card, way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the it the it EBT it. was like 10 bucks. <laughs> and it was like 30 bucks on my card because el, el wey quería <laughs> pinches carnes con chicharrón. <laughs> like, <laughs> quería quería <laughs> todo <laughs> lo, 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 my compa, <laughs> Los tamales. Y bueno, te ramo so A mí me tocaba de fucking. <laughs> Tráeme uno de esos chiles chile rellenos, mijo, ¿no? <laughs> y pues, I'm not going to tell my dad que no, güey. So fucking, yeah, güey. Yeah, it's fucking funny, expensive, güey. So, yeah, güey. Those, those are not unfounded fears, güey. Oh, fuck that. But I'm like, yeah. So, if you're in a budget, it helps tener the EBT, I guess. And then, ya lo demás, si quieres, the little perks, you pay extra. También, like, last 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 week we talked about how, like, people think that undocumented workers don't pay taxes. I feel like people think that these people that are on EBT get, like, hundreds and hundreds of, of even thousands of dollars a month. Like, they're, they're really, I mean, most of the people that I've talked to and that I've met, they don't get that much, way. It, it barely fucking buys enough yeah, food. Apparently doesn't even buy you that fucking pollo rosizado. Yeah, so, I mean, I don't know. People think that, like, they get all this fucking money and all this shit that, that it's, I don't, it's not like that anymore. I, I I don't remember. I mean, I remember being a kid and, and my mom, they would sell her, like, the fucking packs of food stamps. Oh, the booklet? Like it was $120 for like 60 bucks or something. So, I mean, in those days, they didn't check where you just fucking pulled out the, the, the money yeah, from the easy. from the packet or the, the bro, bro, whatever the fuck that's called. Yeah. Y comprabas tus cosas. They never asked for ID or anything because I even remember finding one of those in an alley one time as a kid. And me duró like fucking almost a year, way. Oh, shit. Me compraba shit. papitas, way. <laughs> Un dólar cada vez. Yeah, yeah way. That was fucking good times, way. Oh, shit. Yeah. Damn, Era bro. cuando los billetes tenían una campanita, I remember. Yeah, like a, <laughs> Liberty like, Bell. Like the bell of the seal. You remember? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Liberty Bell. Yeah, I had a friend that que siempre tenía like the singles. Uh, they were brown, no? The, the yeah, ones, they, they were, were brown. Yeah, they were brown. Yeah, and um, y, uh, normalmente no se le hacían de todos, but Santos are like, nah, it's got to come out of the booklet. What? And his whole thing was like, well, oh, I paid with the five and I got, you know, change in this, you know? Like, nah, yeah. I, need, I need to see the booklet. Really? Oh, yeah. shit. Someone yeah. se le puso bravo, güey. Yeah. It was just people being hard asses and shit. Yeah, there's always that fucking person. 
<clears throat> they they're upset that they buy fucking with food stamps and like some people are like that way. Yeah, I don't I don't get that. You know what I'm saying that that's probably part of the reason why you can't buy the pinche pollo rosizado way. Someone fucking know. complaining way about fucking. Well, I mean, uh, I remember and uh, where my parents live at on the corner estaba. Uh, estaba un señor pues, Tenía su esposa Like fucking Six kids wey. Y el señor No trabajaba Puro pinche pistear Y ponía a la señora A uh, fucking No se llamaba Don Efrán Reinaga No sé <laughs> 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 It was six It was six kids Ay wey When they were all little Y a la señora You would see her Outside the supermarkets And everything Begging wow. With the kids y right? borracho en la casa Y ese cabrón borracho And I remember Fucking um, ya cuando, y también les daban like the, the food stamps because they didn't have the cards yet. Y cuando y una vez no, no, mi dad y yo no lo encontramos, they were in front of us. And my dad's like, ay, va a hijo de su chingada madre, you know? He didn't like them. And then, um, pues el, la señora pagaba with the stamps y el señor sacaba el, el dinero que la señora colectaba. For his, fuck, for his beer. For oh, his beer. Oh, shit. And my dad was, he, he was all fucking pissed off and shit. I'm like, oh, fucking it. And, and it's shit like that, that, you know, sometimes you see it, it's por unos pocos pierden todos type of deal, you know? Like, you see that, and then a lot of people get stimulated. I'm like, ¿pa' qué? Chis welfareros tienen pinche billete para pa el chupi que la chingada, pero para lo demás no. O no quieren trabajar. Yeah, it's interesting way to, to, to think about that, that you can't buy f f warm food because, I mean, you can go buy a Jack in the Box and it's warm. You can buy yeah, that's some, thought, some yeah. burger joints you can buy. I mean, there's plenty of restaurants that take EBT, but like, how do you not fucking, you can't buy a, a warm chicken? That, that's crazy. Maybe because it's, maybe it's a separate from the kitchen, from the, the grocery market. But uh, is, is that the, the fast food thing's a little more new, no? Is it more recent, mm. like change, no? I thought I heard about it in the last. No, because I remember Tams, like Tams used to take um, oh, EBT. Tams? Yeah. Oh, shit. Tams, uh, I remember Tams case, yeah, now accepting EBT. Oh, it's, shit. I think it's been a while. Yeah. Oh, okay, no, no. It's been a while. And shit. But maybe it's like a fucking when we go back to the Muchentuchen a yogurt shop on the side, maybe you know the Muchentuchen is one entity and the yogurt shop is another one, so you can't share it, you can't I mix don't know, it. It's kind of weird. One. So in the supermarket, you know, you you know, this it is for groceries, sense. but that's that's the kitchen. It's not groceries. It's like it's a kitchen. It's separate from the grocery, even though it's inside. That doesn't make sense. Man. I don't know. I'm not a fucking. I'm yeah. not. In but the it's, not, it's not like the McDonald's inside the Walmart where it's yeah. like a completely different. I don't know. I, I just feel like it's I, they could do it if they wanted to. I feel. I don't know. Obviously, I don't know the details, but yeah. I feel like it would help a lot of people out. Like this dude says. I mean, you could feed a whole fucking. You could feed your kids with a whole chicken, seven bucks, where it's sale más barato and it's healthier than fucking buying food outside. Buying or them fucking a hot pockets. A hot pockets, right? yeah. That time, I mean, hot pockets are expensive though. They are. Yeah, last time I saw them, I'm like, oh shit! Last time I saw them, no, I don't get them anymore. <clears throat> yeah, ya tengo años que no agarro hot pockets. Oh shit! Those are a fucking good little snack. I was reading that the not, I don't know how long ago it happened, but that the the Lunchables got the contract to go into like schools. Oh shit! Like they made it, and then the statement from Lunchables is saying that they're making it a little healthier. Like, so what are you changing? Like, my thing was like, now that you got the contract to to have them in in school lunches. Like, what are you changing all of a sudden? Like, to make it healthier? Like, they, they had, like, this whole angle that now made with real cheese kind of shit. Yeah, now made with real meat. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah. So like, what the fuck? USDA certified. So see, the, 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 the school food is fucking terrible, dude. I don't know why we fucking yeah. allow that kind of but, shit. I mean, that could be an upgrade, I guess, wait, because it is fucking <sighs> sucks. You know what? In my days, I remember fucking school food being good. It wasn't good, way. It, it was still fucking fries, pizza. Like, I'm not talking about the taste. I'm talking about, like, the nutrition that these kids need to fucking pay attention and and, and not well, eat I mean, so much grow, processed way. foods, way. Like, I mean, the taste is different, way. I'm talking about, like... Nutritional if you, value. If you look at, like... like And then I don't like to compare to other countries because obviously they're different, but, like, you can see that there's this Reddit thread about school lunches all over the world, and you can literally see the difference, way. Like, somebody... Like, Brazil, way, all these colors and... There's fucking like more Whole Foods and, and, and then in the States, like they have like these fucking bland ass fucking burgers and like no nutritional value at all. Way. And this is what we're feeding our children. With. No, yeah, well, that, I mean, 
I've mentioned this more than once, way, but that one documentary I fucking got all teary eyed was the one where they're comparing the school lunches and shit. Remember the oh, yeah, really? the schools? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I bring up the story. All the time. wants to go somewhere to Sweden or Switzerland or no sé qué, Norway. Well, dude, I'm well, I'm in, like, por decir, like I. We've talked about this a few times, but like the, the like the one in France, pues, the school in France, they, I I think it was the one in France that they made it, like the the, the way they set it up is so that you learn I mean your your table manners way at lunchtime way, so te te dan en cursos te dan tus pinche tu agua for, and this for this cursos tu jugo for this, I think they even fucking hasta les they, they even the the older classes I think they they dan like a little vinito con tu comida way like oh shit, shit. pero it, they teach you like your manners, pasa como pa, como se pasa la sal, all that shit. Pues. So it's almost like a class in itself. Como, wait. Como se so you learn birote. your table manners like, like too. Like etiquette, like an yeah. etiquette class. <coughs> but so, I mean, you were you were showing that and like, they have, they have fucking different chef making yeah. the food fresh in the back, way. like, and everything's fresh and everything's like you know like okay, this is this, this is that. And, and they're talking about how they fucking get the veggies in fresh every day, like the like como si fuera un restaurant way. They'll they'll go to the farmers market in the morning. Compran la pinche verdura and all that shit and they come make fucking sandwiches for the kids. Oh, aquí, cabrón, pinches. Pe, la pero raza y... delicada no va a querer pinche. Mm -hmm. like, nah, get the nuggets. Bueno, well, es que ya los mal acostumbraron, güey. Yeah, I yeah, mean, for sure. Nuggets, I mean, a lot, of, a lot of parents feed their kids that stuff because it's convenient, güey. It's oh, fast. Fuck, yeah. Kids love it. I mean. I love it, güey. But, <laughs> but I'm saying that, that goes back to us too. Like you're saying, the school lunches pues, lo, es lo que los daban, güey. You would think that like, people are so obsessed with health, way, and and like they don't they don't start with children. That's that's for I mean, how are you gonna have a different culture if you don't start from the schools to change? That way, when they become adults, they make better choices in food, nutrition, and all these things, way. I mean, well, I mean, we don't pay teachers tampoco, way. So. Well, I mean, that's that's that has nothing to do with the teachers, way. That's a different part. No, of but the I'm school. saying when you're talking about fucking. Yeah, but this is a kid's nutrition way. Yeah. Like this is literally proven that it slows their stump, their 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 the way that they process information. Like it, it makes them slower. It lowers their IQ way when they have a shitty diet. Like this is all stuff that. But if you have a shitty teacher, then you're no. Well, we're not talking I mean, teachers. Yeah. I'm talking not talking about way. teachers. We're talking about food. Like that's about food. if you want to argue about their wages, we can do that. No, but. I'm saying I'm saying from the angle que que si no los importan the kids way like how we. That's what I'm saying. So it's not only the the. The food, it's the fucking food, the healthcare, the fucking teachers, anything like. Si no los importa, like I've said before, even the, the fucking school shootings, way. Si no los importó when they when they shot up the little baby kids, way. The fucking uh, what are the hand, Sandy Hook one. Uh -huh. Si no los importó then, that's when I fucking not not stop complaining. But I was like, fuck if no one gave a fuck then, way. Then nothing's gonna change, way. Well, and then especially nowadays, where it became like if you're if you're against pedophilia and stuff like that, if you read the internet, it seems like they're making it a right left thing. Like, wait, this is children, way. Who gives a shit what your political views is? Like, if I don't like pedophilia, that makes me right wing. Like, that's crazy. Like, this is a narrative that's happening on a social level. On the what internet. is that? Is that happening? Well, yeah. it's because there's a lot of like like the QAnons and like Pizza Gate. Like, it's 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 not it's not a good look that. That the people that were creating these these like fake scenarios were right wing people. So then somehow it just became this thing where like like if if like that movie that that, that came out that everybody was upset about about the child trafficking that, that they didn't want to show it in certain places. Oh, what I forgot was the name it? of that. Oh, yeah. the one with the fucking dude that played Jesus, eh? I don't oh, know. Yeah. I don't know what Caviso. he did. I don't know yeah. what he did, but like it just became this right wing thing. Like like uh, it's just like these are kids. Where like what the fuck are we bringing right right and left into any of this stuff, man? Like this is kids' lives, way. And and I don't I don't know if that's a good thing to do, way. When we start thinking like that, but <clears throat> but I get what you're saying about the teachers, way. But nutrition is is I feel like nutrition is way more important than, than the education that the teachers are giving them because the kids are going to be they're going to have their own thoughts faster if they have better nutrition they're going to be able to think and if these teachers aren't doing their They'll jobs be healthier <clears throat> or, or the school district's not doing their jobs I mean these kids are going to be healthier they're, they're going to have I would argue that having a healthy lifestyle is more beneficial than you than having fucking really good teachers in, in certain schools because then you grow up with a different mindset that you want change because you feel good, you feel inspired to do something rather than just not having any energy because it's a shitty diet at your school. Then your school system doesn't care about you. Like, I mean, obviously everything's important, but when it comes to nutrition, I feel like it's it's super important way to, to figure out what these kids are eating way. Like, it's crazy. It's, it's insane that we're feeding kids what we're feeding them way. Like, when you really think about it. And then everybody's just like, 
well, we're tired. Like, we don't have that much money. Like, I mean, I don't think that that's an excuse. Right? <laughs> it, it goes back to Henry Rollins, bro. <laughs> no, it was about to say before. Henry Rollins was all pissed about. What did you say? Uh, it was, it was, years, a, it, was a, it was a years ago. I think when he came out in um, Sons of Anarchy, right? So he did an interview. Oh, yeah, I remember that. He did an interview with Kevin and Bean. And it's one of those where they were asking him all this. And then he goes off on a rant and he starts fucking, he starts saying that like, you know, these fucking irresponsible parents taking their kids to McDonald's and feeding them this poison y que la chingada. and I'm all like and I remember like oh shit like fucking Henry Rollins is going crazy on this you know he fucking doesn't like McDonald's <laughs> <laughs> and I was telling Fernie mm -hmm. and then Fernie's all like yeah because he doesn't have kids I'm all like what? <laughs> he doesn't have kids? Fucking this dude has kids he's all like no, no he doesn't No Ramon fucking built him a whole life he yeah. goes he has a wife and he has kids is it, no, Wasn't he, he married? Y que la chingada. He's all like Nah, I'm like, ah, he's like, I don't know, let's, let's see what, what Wikipedia says. Uh, Pinche Vato hasn't had a romantic relationship since his 20s. He has no kids. No, he doesn't he's, have kids. He's childless not, by choice. Childless by choice. <laughs> and he lives like, you know, like. He likes uh, a solitary lifestyle. Yeah, I'm like, oh, fuck. And oh, at oh one like point, the second at paragraph. One, at one point, Freddy's <laughs> like, one of us is going to be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, man. I mean, I'm not saying that. Ramon was pretty confident, too. I thought he had kids. I honestly did. And I no. thought he was married or He's he had something. always been weird with relationships. Yeah. I'm all like, oh, shit. But I remember that because, you know, because we're having our breakfast. And I'm like, you know, I remember every time, like, I told her, like, 70% of the time when I'm having, when I, when I eat McDonald's or whatever, me acuerdo de fucking Henry Rollins because of that comment, you know? Well, I mean, you're in the doll way. I mean, I think I feel like kids is different. You're 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 yeah. you're still fucking growing. I mean, it's like um, it's it, I think it's a different thing where you're like they don't have a choice. Like they 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 eat what they they're giving. Okay, it's put in front of you. So you have a choice. Like I feel like us, it's there's no excuse way. I mean, we have a choice, but these <laughs> kids, like you start getting them used to these foods. I mean, they didn't have a choice, but now this is what they crave and this is what they want to eat, and then they take that into their adulthoods and. I mean, it's just it's just chaos, way. Ya ves que pinche cada ratito ya salen los pinche politicians too that that fucking that don't want to give them fucking free lunches, way, because it's entitlement, bro. Yeah, that's crazy too, way. Okay, okay, let's get in that breakfast. Oh fuck no, bro, that's socialism. Yeah, fuck that. They want lunch. Okay, they either could have breakfast or lunch, but not both. That's insane. I already have a problem with the fucking lunch, bro. I'm not gonna give them breakfast too. Yeah, no. And I think uh, what was that? there was something um Postacuas during the summer, like uh for for like um they would they would have the school open in the summer for free lunches, no? I don't think they do that anymore, do they? I they, don't know where they did they did it. Yeah, we're like I mean the last time during COVID, all of the schools down down the lunches too. Eh? Uh -huh. But at least here in California. But sometimes they they do pretend that they care about kids, but it's like there's a lot of like money involved, like like with these fucking like nicotine things that we take. Like this company that I'm that I'm using right now called Knickknack, they're getting they're getting uh, I don't know if they're getting sued, but they're saying that these look like the mints, and they're saying that it caters to children. That that this this is confusing because. These, these these things you have to open them a certain way. They're not just gonna open the way they open them. But just because they're a circular packet that looks like like the mints, they're saying that they can't have this because it attracts kids. The vaping it attracts kids, and and it's like my whole thing is like, wait, you're you're good with fucking having a cartoon character in the box of pro processed foods. I think they're getting rid of the mascots and and, and 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 all these little cartoon characters on cereals and all this shit. Like you think that's not unhealthy for kids, and you're worried about. This being or or your vape being targeted to a fucking child, like well, I mean, I, I get the vape that that little box. I would fucking argue the the mint container is fucking patterned after the fucking like the tobacco fucking boxes, the packaging. No, my yeah, brother. I mean, that's a I'm good saying, argument. dude, no mames, wait. But I'm saying like the, I get the vapes, wait, que vienen colores and fucking. Smoking always looks cool to fucking kids, you see, know? See, this guy can't even open it, and he's yeah, almost no, 50. Yeah, I know, I'm trying to look at it. And he's see. almost 50. I should yeah, really take this. Yeah, ese sí está medio, está medio jalado, güey, that fucking que the, 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 looks like the mint y la chinga. Nah, eso está un poco jalado. The vape I get, that, that, no. That, that, that makes no sense to me, güey. I mean, I don't know. How does that target a child, way? That's crazy. Like, how does that vape target the, yeah, the no. vape that he has in his pocket? In his, in the, how does that target I, I a child? I get how that, if my if my, my daughter saw a little pink thing, I see eso, I see how it would attract her attention, pues. That, no. That, I don't, 
my, my daughter or my son wouldn't look at that and go, a ver, ¿qué, qué, qué es eso? Pero ese, ese sí, the little vape fucking thing. Yeah, because it's colorful, sure. pink, green. Right, and, and the, the whole smoking aspect thing, for some reason, even like the chiquitos, pues, in your brain, it's like something interesting, way. Yeah. Ese You're little, like a dragon, That little bro. packaging, pues, I mean, I it's just see. a it's just a bland for people listening. It's just a bland circle of like pa plastic, like where you buy like some mints that you open up from the top. Mm. It looks kind of like that, but less childish. Like a hockey puck. Yeah, but I'm saying it, it doesn't it doesn't have it's, anything that I would say. Oh, my my kids would be attracted to that packaging. But, yeah, but but it, it makes no sense to me. Eh, there's always so, someone. But that's what I'm saying. In certain <laughs> places, they pretend they give a shit about children. Like when it comes to the vape, that's all fucking big tobacco getting upset. It has nothing to do with them really concerned about children. It has to do with big tobacco losing money to these fucking newer companies that are killing it, like those little vapes. And um, and and so the government's in line with them, obviously. So they're gonna pass these laws to criminalize vaping, but it's all big tobacco. Right? It's all them, they're losing money, and it has nothing to do with them worried about children. Because based on the way that we treat children in the society, a government doesn't care about children. Where right? no, the, the, anytime anybody, any you see any politician complain about something about children, that's put a BS. I, I, no. I, I, that's always BS, way. Right? Because I'm telling you that, you yeah, you can talk about the food. That's one aspect, but I'm saying that. Pinchy healthcare, when they're double COVID and they're giving the your child tax credit, fucking te lo están dando monthly instead of fucking waiting for the end of the year. Okay, they brought I don't know how many fucking hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of kids in in this United States like out of poverty because now they the parents had a little bit more money para pa las groceries or whatever. I seen them pasó pinche shit and they fucking took it back. They're like and they wanted to pass it again and they hit nope, nope, that's fucking entitlement, bro. We're not giving you fucking your money, fucking adelantados. What are you fucking insane? Literally, Tan your pendejos. money fucking... Yeah, so... They, they, they just put a pinche bullshit. They don't care, way. Any mama that I hear them say that it's for positive, I go, no, way. It's importado. There's so much other shit you can do that's, that's more important. Way. But don't you think that, like, if if government doesn't care, like, parents should care more? Like, if government doesn't care about your child, don't you think that... And I know you're going to say, like, it's hard because of the way your Henry Wallen's comment was that he doesn't have children, which I don't agree that that's a valid criticism, that just because you don't have children, <laughs> like, you don't know, like, what's healthy for a child or you shouldn't comment. Like, that's crazy, dude. But, but no, what no. I'm saying, like... I think that was... We were just fucking talking shit. What I'm saying... What, well, what I'm saying is, like, if you... If people already know that government doesn't give a shit about your children... Shouldn't you give a shit more about your children, like the the things that they're eating and their lifestyle? I mean, if Some, the sometimes government that's easier said than done. That's what I'm saying. The, I mean, the, the the children thing. When I say it with this guy, is like you can't get up all up up in arms. Yeah, you. There's a difference between yeah. Tim says, oh yeah, that's unhealthy. I get that's unhealthy. Blah blah blah. The way he was he's saying is about the fucking went on a whole rant. He thunk, yeah, well he doesn't have kids. He doesn't understand. Just like you didn't understand when I'm, I'm when I'm saying the difference between that package and this little thing. Where like I I understand because. Because of my kids, why that would be alluring and that wouldn't. But, like but, but, you're, but look, you're talking about it at your house. Where they're saying that the kid is going to go to the store and actually purchase that because it's attracted to them. The kid's not going to be able to walk into a vape shop or, or or those are in the back of the fucking store. Like what you're saying is a different argument. We're not talking about it. They're not worried that it's laying on the on your house and the kid's going to grab it. But they're the worried that they're going to go to the store and say, oh, I like that because it looks like a fucking candy. Let me get that. Like that's, but that's, but that's but not going to happen, dude. It, yeah, no, no. But you're missing the, the it's like what we've been talking about. You're building a pattern with the same reason that they used to say that the, the tobacco companies used to market to kids. It's not about where they are they going to buy it now. It's when they have their money, are they going to buy it? So, yeah, they can, they're not, can't go to the store and buy this, but they see it at the store and look, oh, look, oh, shit. Estos colores y estos. Yeah, I can't buy it, but if I see it at my house, oh, yeah, look, maybe I want to try it. And then you build that, that customer before they can even purchase the actual product. But I can see how... They would be drawn to that, and they wouldn't be drawn to that, and that's that. That's something you, you get from having a kid with. I mean, you and you same way that the, like like uh, there's certain struggles that are hard to get across with. That the, the, with that, it, it, it's just like a lot of things. Way like fucking, I, I there's a lot of stuff in your job that I wouldn't understand even if you try to explain it to me. Like we'd have there'd be like a communication problem with. It, it's just, that's all it is. Way like you the. <laughs> It's a little like insight, but it's like it's, it's experience. I mean, you're you're saying that it's it's easier said than done. Where like, I mean, I I understand that argument, but like, it's not impossible. Where like, these are your children. Like, I don't understand why n not everything gets done to and and you you can argue that 
parents try everything. You don't try everything, right? Because if you did, you'll find something that works. So if, if it hasn't changed, you haven't tried everything. And I feel like if if you already know that government shit, they don't care about your children. Not you personally. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not pointing at, no, at no, you, no, right? But I'm saying I'm just talking generalizing. You you already know that government doesn't care about your children. The school system sometimes doesn't care about their education either, based on how they treat teachers. Which which I agree, they they should compensate them more and, and have more respect towards somebody that's teaching your child certain things. But you're gonna tell me that you're not gonna try to like have your child have a healthier fucking Look, life just because? Okay, I'll, I'll give you I'll give you an example too that's kind of relevant. Way, my kids fucking a huevo like the the Farmer John fucking. Classic little hot dog way, the one the, the most processed fucking hot dog, the worst, the worst fucking tipo bologna way that it, in a fucking the enrollado, the pinche the weenie, the wiener way, the fucking the the most processed one, the one that has like the most nitrates. It's it literally the most unhealthy fucking hot dog you can eat. Ese es el que les gusta, way. We, I'm and we're I'm still searching, way. And my daughter, yeah, kind of is on board. But I've bought fucking all kinds of other different fucking weenies, the, the fucking pollo, the turkey with. Less nitrates, fucking organics, pinches, weenies. Que if I would have never bought myself because they're so expensive. Way that you go, like for fucking for like a little six pack of fucking weenies, cuanto? I've tried. I want to say unos dos different types of weenies. Way we have not found another one that my fucking my my son will eat. My daughter will try all of them. My son has given up trying any fucking any other one but the one he likes. Way. My daughter's kind of on board because y'all explique. I've explained to both of them, but she's older and she understands. I go, it literally takes like time from your life. Like they, it literally fucking what is like I said seconds or minutes, and she'll try the other ones. And we have yet to find another one that they like better than that. Fucking the fucked up fucking weenie way. And it it's just what it is way. So if we want, when they want hot dogs, they want that way. Yeah, but I mean, you like you like those hot dogs, wait. Like you eat that. So what I'm no, saying no, is, I, like, I, I don't. Not that I like them. Wait. I mean, you introduced them to it, so they they didn't go to the store when they were kids and and said, "I want that." You you eat that, so you said, "Yeah, this is fine." I I bought the other ones. I've always bought the other. I like the, the like the whole beef ones and all those. Somebody gave them like they My, they, yeah, they they, they yeah. didn't. But what I'm saying, they didn't. They don't choose what they want to eat. Like when when they become addicted to these foods, because these foods are like a drug, way it's sugar. All this processed shit, it's like you're literally feeding a drug to a kid. So why am I, if I'm addicted to heroin and you're trying to give me a fucking, because uh, heroin's vegan, it's a fucking opiate plant. And you're t giving me a, a a juice with with kale. I'm like, I don't want that shit. I want that. Like, I don't like that. I like that. Like, you got to gotta remember that we're addicts. We, this, we're addicted to processed foods. We're, we're Even if you're a child, you're addicted to processed foods. You're addicted to sugar. You're addicted to stuff that's not healthy. So you're literally dealing with a little addict that, that wants what they want, and that's what they want. But I'm saying... Somebody introduced these kids to these foods, way. I mean, they people 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 talk to about children like that's what they want. Somebody introduced them to that way. What I'm saying is like, and and, and it comes down to the parents because until the parents change their lifestyle and until they change how they they feel like their children are the only ones that should change. Like it's this child. Uh, I don't know why my child's heavy. Like he she needs to change the way she she needs to stop. Well, you need to stop as well. Like this is a family unit. Like. I don't feel like if the parents aren't going to get healthy and they're not going to change their eating habits, the children aren't going to follow until if the child is lucky enough to become an adult and then they see the ben the effects of it on their own, then that's where they can change. But when they're small kids, I don't feel like if the parent doesn't change, the, the kid's not going to change. Right? I mean, I just think that that's not an, a realistic household. It has to start with the parent. And I'm not saying that it's the parent's fault, but what I'm saying, if you want your child, not you personally, but if you want your child to be healthy, you have to change like your whole life. Like everything has to change. Like your habits. You're tired because you don't eat well. You you get home and you don't feel like cooking because you probably don't have the nutrients that you need. You're not eating well. You're eating processed foods. You're eating sugar. You're you're you're, you're using sugar as as a as an enhancement to wake you up because you're not sleeping right. And then you can argue that your children keep you up. Yeah, they're up because they have all this energy. Like, they're eating sugar till fucking sometimes 9, 10 o'clock at night. How do you expect them to go to bed? 
it, it all comes full circle. If the parent starts eating healthy, if the parents start making uh, healthy choices, then they're going to have enough energy to deal with work, go to the store, get home, and fucking have enough energy to fucking cook. And that's a general uh, assumption, way, because there's obviously parents that are, uh, you know, they have disabilities, and, and I'm not talking about those people. Generally speaking, like, I feel like... I want to talk as a whole that most people could change if they want to. Like, don't feel like it's not, it's something that you can't do. But that's the hard part is that if you want to change, because I feel like your, short, your, your children should be enough inspiration for you to make a change to be able to change their lives and give them a little bit of a head, a head a more of a head start than, than getting them 18, 19 into a system that's already designed to be against them. Like why wouldn't you want to like? I know, but my the, the point of my the story was that 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 all that all that that you said is true, way, eh? but it's all easier said than done, pues. Because, yeah, we say like they eat whatever we put in front of them, but the truth is, most of our kids. Well, I mean, at least the, my kids. I'll just talk about my kids, way. No se están muriendo de hambre, way. They won't eat whatever you put in front of them, way. They'll skip that meal if they don't. Si les pones una salad in front. My son will not eat all day if you give him a salad all fucking day. So am I supposed to say, okay, entonces no comes nada ahora? Well, I mean, that's, 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 if I would, if you're asking me what you should say, that, that, that needs a little bit of therapy and working with why, what's your association with food? Like kids could go to therapy where you get, yeah, yeah. No. Par parents don't need to have all the answers. You, there's resources that if you feel like, well, well, well based on how you're talking, you're, you're, you're talking like this is already out of your control because that's what they're going to eat. That's when resources come in. Like, you, what is resources? Who's going to pay for this therapy? Okay, well, that's that. That comes down to having healthier yeah. parents that have the drive, that have energy to fucking do things and build things and work and fucking. I'm not saying you yeah, don't yeah, no, work, no, no, but no, I'm yeah, saying that's that's when the parent needs to be healthy and be like, you know what, my I don't like the job that I have right now. Could it be that you know my lifestyle fucking is not right and I don't have the energy to try something new or or have the confidence? Why don't I try to eat healthy, start working out? building fucking confidence that I can say, you know what, fuck this job. Let me work here that I can make more money and use your children as a driver. I don't, I just don't feel like it's like hands up. That's it. We did everything. Well, I, no, no, I, don't, I don't think like that way. So that's, that's why. what I'm saying. That, that was the point of my story way. It's not hands up fucking Valio Verga. Literally, I've, I'm trying different things way to this day. Yeah, I have fucking only a few years or a couple years trying different fucking hot dogs. We have my daughter's on board. My son already fucking <laughs> tapped out like at six in. Pero también he's younger. Like I'm saying, my daughter's older enough to understand what I'm telling her. We haven't tapped out. We're trying different ones. To this day, we have not found another one they like. And it's a very narrow example that I'm trying to explain. Que it's easier said than done. Way. If I give him the better food for, like I said, my son. He will not eat. No se está muriendo de hambre, güey. But and it's not, it's no not a wasted dejar. effort, güey. No, mean, it's if, not if, a wasted if, effort. If you, if you reflect on us as a childhood, I was your, your son. My mom fought <laughs> so much to fucking feed me the right stuff uh, when I got to a certain age. And I didn't want it. I didn't want mm -hmm, her food. Mm -hmm, I wanted mm -hmm. to eat out. The point is that she didn't. She she worked on it every fucking day. And sometimes you're not going to change as a child, but you're going to remember that when you get older, when my mom used to fucking tell me this, dude, she was fucking right. Like, it, it's not a, it's not a wasted effort. It's, it's, I feel like as, as a parent, like nothing is wasted if you're trying to teach your kid, um, you know, healthy the habits. Right ways, yeah. It's not something that I feel like sometimes they're going to get it when they're an adult. But if you, if, if not you, but if you just let it go and never try to enforce something to them, they're not going to know that it, there's another way. They're going to think that this is the only way. But I always knew that it's this way. And then what my mom always told me, and then I, I, would, I would not want to eat her beans. I would not want to eat her home-cooked meal. I wanted a fucking pizza. I wanted this. I wanted that. And then when I started feeling insecure about myself and when I started getting all these feelings and dealing with a little bit of like bullying and stuff like that, then that's when... All that shit that your parents tell you, that's when it just kind of one day just like it clicks, yeah. Wait, dude, dude, they're fucking right. Like, what am I doing? Okay, I need to lose this. How do I lose this? 
okay, I need to do this and I need to do that. And then fucking 20 years later, you feel like, okay, I'm finally understanding what it is to be a little healthier. It doesn't happen overnight. But I just don't, I just don't feel like, um, maybe you misunderstood me when, when I meant that he's going to change all of a sudden, he's going to make no, his no, own no. cow shakes or whatever. I, I, I understand. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I feel like he's going to remember this way. If you keep working with him, I feel like he had, as well, an adult. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's why I keep bringing up that I know that he's younger. And my daughter's older. And my daughter understands the argument already, pues, ¿me entiendes? She understands why we're trying the different ones. And she go, she plays along, even though in the end she wants what she wants. And eventually, like, like you're saying, eventually she gets there. But during all this other time where there's still fucking only 15, 16, 18, 20 years away before that click comes away. So before that, it's that cabrón, way. Not every parent's gonna fucking, like I said, not every parent. Me, I'm lucky que también tengo backup way. Que, or there's a lot of people don't have resources to try fucking twelve different type of hot dogs way. That 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 big a big ass pack of the fucking normal farmer John one costs fucking less than one of that little six pack way. Probably half the price of that little six pack. I'm talking about that that fucking quest of no me acuerdo ni cuánto fuera, but it was fucking probably like 15, 16 bucks or some shit. And that fucking pack of like 24 fucking hot dogs costs like fucking five bucks. Wait. Yeah. So, I mean, some people just don't have the resources to try those other ones. So, I mean, it, it, it's like, that's what I'm saying. That My point was that it, it, when people talk about these things, sometimes they don't understand it. Easier said than done. And the right path is what you're saying. But sometimes that path is hard. And I understand why people drop out. They shouldn't. But it'll... I understand, yeah, <laughs> I, I, and I agree with you that they don't have the resources. But I don't think that it's they don't they can't attain those resources. That's I think that's where we. Uh, I understand they don't have the resources. Why would they have the resources if they're unhealthy themselves? Why would they have the resources to get their kid healthy? I'm saying those resources could be attained. Like it's something that you can work to attain. It's not. It's not an impossible thing. And I'm speaking of, 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 of a Western society, big city, L.A., where, where we have these, these food fucking, there's food everywhere. There's resources everywhere. We're not in the Midwest where, where things are a little bit more kind of like not available. Like I'm, I'm talking about people that are in cities like us where you might not have the resources now, which I agree. A lot of people don't have the resources. But I think where we differ is that I feel like you can attain those resources if you really work on it and not just say, like, I don't have it. I can't do it. That's it. Hands up. That, I think that's where we, we differ as well. Is you, you seem to talk more absolute. There's no resources. That's it. And I'm thinking more like, yes, there's no resources, but you can get those resources. Like, there's no, there's no giving up on it. Like, this, these are your children. Like, there's no giving up. Like, these are your kids. These are, these are the, the kids that, 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 um, that you brought into this world that, that they didn't choose to fucking come. I didn't choose to come <laughs> into this fucking world. I don't know. It sounds like they fucking fought to get to that tunnel way. <laughs> so, I mean, they, they wanted to get here. <clears throat> I'm not trying to pick on parents way. I know that sounds like I'm trying to talk shit, but I, I'm just trying to tell people that, you know, if you really want to change, don't feel like there's not. You can, and you can attain those resources. You're not going to attain the resources with the same mentality that got you where you're at right now. You obviously have to change a lot of things about your life to be able to get to that point where where you can be that example and then your kids can can benefit from it but i mean like you said it's not going to be an overnight thing way and, and i understand that i'm not a parent you're right i don't understand the 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 nuances i'm, I'm speaking from the outside perspective and, and then when i comment on on parents and children i don't have children but i i used to be a child and i know that's different but I know what it took for me to be able to change f my surroundings based on how I was brought up. So it's not like I don't have like a full, you know, I, I used to be a child where that, that had those struggles, you know. But I don't know. I, I can, just, I can, just, can I can I ask um, on something? Um, you said something earlier for me that, that you said that um, your, your son, um, if you put him a salad, he won't eat it, right? Nope. Now, let me ask you. And this is uh, the old school channel, meche, and not only that, but I'm sure parents and grandparents out there are like, all right, you're not going to eat. You're not going to eat until 
you know. That's what I said. If, <clears throat> if I put a salad in front of him all day, he won't eat it. He won't okay. eat it. Fucking, he won't eat it. Now the following day, if you put That's something else, están muriendo de hambre. Yeah, so but like, no. But my, so what up? My question is, can is this looked at like if you don't like you have food for there? If he doesn't eat it, he won't eat it. But does that look like a like a child negligence? Like would you get in trouble if you're like, este cabrón no está comiendo? Yeah, yeah. He's got food. Uh, He's got food there, but I'm not gonna make him what he wants. This is what we have here, and I he won't eat it. Could I, you get in trouble as a parent? I don't know. Wait, like legally, you mean? Yeah. yeah I, I don't know. I even because like like the old school in me would be like, ah, cabrón, pues no comas, no comas, ahí está. You know, but what's like, the reality is that next day at school he's gonna eat something there. If he goes to grandma's well, house, he's gonna eat what, something what's there. What's probably gonna happen también is he's gonna fucking con no estás viendo, he's gonna sneak some kind of snack, right? Because he's gonna get hungry. But all the like legally, I don't know. Like you're you're offering food. You yeah. están comiendo. I mean, and like you're I, not gonna I, I you're not gonna custom make them some chicken nuggets or you're not gonna go get them. You know whatever it is. No, yeah. this is what we have. This is what you're supposed yeah, yeah. to eat. You don't want to eat. Fine. Se pasa un día. The next day, you do the same thing and he doesn't eat it. I mean, part part of it. I mean, like I'm saying, it no se están muriendo de hambre, yeah. So they're not living like a a poor lifestyle where we literally only have this salad. Yeah. And he goes, oh shit! Well, we oh, yeah, there's no fucking snacks in the fucking pantry. I, I better eat the salad because this is all there is. Yeah, they're not living their life. Like I'm saying, if when you're not paying attention, he's gonna sneak in and grab some kind of other snack. Way not pinchy galletas or something. Mm. Me entiendes? Like so, if see, it feels like more older days. It's in almost living in pobreza where literally this is all we had. Then I I'm pretty sure he'd end up eating the fucking salad way. But también when I was a kid, there there was no snacks to snack on. Yeah, that's like, what I'm saying. So like for, like if like you like if I was your kid and I and I wanted to go to the to the cupboards and grab what am I gonna snack on? Wait, it's I have to eat what my mom has because <laughs> it's, not, it's, not, no it's not like the there's sal. it's not like there's cookies there that I can eat. She's not gonna buy fucking cookies. She she wasn't buying any of that shit. So what was I gonna fucking eat? Like I ate what she fucking put in uh, eventually or. Iba mi con mi padrino. Ah, oh, quieres una pizza, mijo. Ahí está. Because yeah. we we we, find we, ways. we we see children as like, no, pues lo, lo quieren. We have to give it to them because I don't want them suffering. Like I don't want them que que pasen hambre. God forbids the children pasen hambre because that's that's something that triggers a lot of parents that they don't want their kids to 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 feel hunger because maybe they felt hunger growing up and they don't like how it feels. But I mean, it is a double edged sword way because even if you change your pantry and you change everything. You're going to drop them off at school on Monday. Yeah. And on Monday, they're going to have access to yeah, yeah. every single thing in the... I mean, All you have to do is last the weekend. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, but I'm saying like, the hambre goes back to where we started, where, yeah. where they need to be fed to learn and grow and process things right away. So I, I like, I can't... I, I won't send them to school pues, con, con hambre either for the same reason, because they need, like what you were saying earlier, we need that energy, you need a fucking... No. And here's where I go back you need to, to, be able to react. Do you, would you get in trouble? Like, for example, oh, I legally, I don't have no idea. Because, what. like, in the sense, like, okay, it's one of those that, again, I'm not a, I'm not, I, I don't have any children of my own, right? And I didn't raise any kids on my own or anything like that. So I don't know what this whole thing is. But part of me, and this is just me talking out loud, I'm, si tu era un chiquillo, it would be different. But I would be like, all right, this is what you're going to eat. You're not going to eat it. But that, aquí, that, aquí no hay gatos, type but, of deal. But this entails then. Then you have to go into the cupboards I mean, get rid of all your cookies oh, and yeah. snacks. I mean, van a hacer los actually, tuyos, actually yeah. what I would do, honestly, what I would do is either put them higher or put a fucking lock no, on that's it. No, that, <laughs> like, yeah, that's what we're saying. Like, you have to change. <laughs> no, 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 no. That, you have, that's what I'm saying. You have to get rid of it because yeah, kids yeah. will figure out how to get into all everything. Well, that, that's the other thing because it goes back to like where, where the stem was saying. Like, yeah, we might not have had snacks, but we made snacks. Like, no teníamos cookies, pero si teníamos pinches weenies, teníamos bologna, teníamos jamón, teníamos All the batch that we just talked yeah, teníamos butter, so si no estaban viendo, because my mom made fucking liver, yeah. and I don't want to eat that fucking liver, yeah. you know, so when she was in look, you know, so whatever, boy, agarraba, snuck a weenie, y eso comía, right? Mm -hmm. But the next thing is that the next day, when dinner was ready, my mom tenía the liver again, like, hey, I está todavía, it's not going to fucking go to waste until you eat it. So eventually, you broke down and you fucking ate it. But yeah. after, you already had three hot dogs. Right? Yeah, but it's not the same, though. It's not It's not, It's not. not fulfilling I would me. argue it's worse. No, it, it wasn't fulfilling <laughs> me. It wasn't, I wasn't like, you know, I was still fucking hungry, but I was like, fuck, I can't get more. Okay, la chingada. So what happened is you still eventually. You after a hot dog, right? No, nah, dude, that was fucking. Estamos corriendo a la. We were fucking playing a la. Otra cosa es que me quitaban fucking, you know, me, me, me castigaban. 
you're not gonna go play or you're not gonna go do this or you're not gonna watch TV until you finish that. So you're like, fuck. Fuck it. All my friends are outside. They're playing Que Me Cuesta. I'm like, all right. It was, it was fucking, it was, what was it, blackmail? That, that, I don't I mean, know. Yeah, but that's how much different than fucking. Yeah, you know, like in the sense, it's like at the end of the day, when my parents is like, I'm the fucking parent. You're not the parent. Yeah, but. You're going to, you know, you don't want to eat it. I understand, but you have to eat it. Why? Because I know this is good for you. No, and you have to eat it. But I'm saying you, but para que veas, how many times did it take? You had options still. Like you said, the puso oh, liver, my mom, you had a hot dog. My dad was a different story. But that's what I'm saying. You had <laughs> options. Not like they, they, they put the liver, you open mm. the fridge, and there's nothing else. Yeah, and see, that's a important uh, nuance también is that sometimes you have parents that aren't on the same page. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. You have mom or dad that's like, no, you're not eating that, but dad's probably like, eh, come on. Let's. Yeah. Or the vice, vice versa. versa. I mean, sometimes the household isn't in line as well. My, like, mom, my mom was more, wanted to be more diplomatic. I'm like, hey, that's your choice. My dad's like, nah, this is my fucking way. Eat that fucking shit. I mean, and to be fair oh, yeah. way the, the food was different when we were children way I mean oh, yeah. I, I, even though uh, 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 a weenie is a processed meat but I still feel like the food was was a lot healthier even if it's chatarra yeah. it was different when we were kids than it is now way I mean those weenies I would argue is, is the same but there's a lot of like like in our household pues como dice Ramon like your mom hacía liver hacía Sopas, pues, more shit that fucking echa mano, pues, you know? I mean, no and, and I would also argue that we're vinylizing weenie way, but I mean, I, I feel like if you put it in a bread, I mean, the bread's not that good for you, but if you mix it with eggs like my mom did, I mean, mm, that's, that's that, not. I mean, the I mean, weenie it, still it's, is. Just, it's still, but you're not, you're not, you're not, you, you're minimalizing slowly you're, processed food. I'm not saying how that. How are you minimalizing the way? Like I said right now, you're not giving them a hot dog, but you're mixing it with egg. Egg's not unhealthy for you. Egg but the hot dog, todavía no le quitas, pues, like, what, sure, it's but, but you're, you're t trying to take everything out at once. Like, it's a step. Like, okay. Oh, like, you, weenie you want You want your weenie. You're not eating it with fucking uh, fries, with with processed potatoes, with processed bread. You're not eating it with that. You're eating it mixed. You want that? Te lo vas a con un huevito. The huevito's healthy. The huevito's not gonna make this kid fucking unhealthy. So it's not that you're 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 you, we're, we're vinylizing the weenie, but. It's not the biggest corporate of, of child fucking... Um, no, no, I'm saying that that was a very narrow example. And tampoco, we don't have that many hot dogs, way. We don't need fucking... Ahorita we have hot dogs, but that's why I remember. But normally we don't have that many hot dogs even a month, way. Like, I, I would argue not even every month we have a hot dog. Not even, I don't know, we kind of rarely have hot dogs. My point was was it, it that, like, sometimes things are easier said than done with kids, but even, like, when they're babies... They, the baby, the baby doesn't have a choice what what you put in his, his mouth, right? Pero todavía no le a unos les va a gustar the little pea jars, unos les va a gustar the bananas, the otros van a, the 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 little uh, smashed peas. Oh shit! I thought you, I'm oh, like fuck, I'm like. But is it like otros no like you put it and they just they, they won't want to eat it? Yeah, yeah. Right and or a unos les va a gustar the carrots. carrots. Yeah. So they already have like taste buds almost like built in way. So they, they, like we said, they have their own little personalities. So sometimes. There's things, pues, that are easier said than done, but like you said, you want to build, like, ladrillito, ladrillito, pues, okay, they won't eat it, but you keep offering different choices or better choices to, like we said, until it clicks and you go, oh, shit, this is why they've been fucking, this is why we've tried 60 fucking types of hot dogs, you know, oh, and now, and now it makes sense. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, and then they get to the point where they talk back and like, pues, ¿por qué tú comes eso? Yo no. Es que yo soy el papá. Y, yeah, y yo, yo, But it's like, wait, you should also change. I will, you're, they're telling you this way, you got the weenie on the fork. <laughs> 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 hey, Dad, why you get the weenie? Hey, don't worry about what I'm doing, you know? I built immunity, bitch. Uh -huh. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do, cabrón, eh? That's hilarious. <laughs> I built an immunity to these weenies. Desde cuando pinche... These Marinero domina capitán. These know? fucking weenies aren't taking me down. Mm. Yeah, no, no, no. Está cabrón, man. I grew up with these fucking weenies, eh? <laughs> we used to mix them with huevito, fucking... When you put them over the open flame, it kills all the nitrates. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Le quita el cancer. <laughs> Just boil, boil them in water. <laughs> Le quita el cancer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Luego, lo, mira, luego lo envuelves en esta pinche tortilla y sas. First, even también, you didn't see the thing que... They've, they've just figured out that the, the microplastics in these water bottles fucking está bien cabrón too. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. Like, they fucking... 
fucking is way more than they fucking thought with. Oh shit! It's like insanely more with. So that's so we're all fucking yeah. Take out. Somebody was telling. I think it was uh, my, uh, our daughter was telling us that, like, if you leave a, it's it's ha- not hazardous, but it's not good for you to leave a water bottle in your car. And the, the heat? Heat, yeah, the heat, and then drink it because of the the plastics. I guess. Well, yeah. Well, it, it, apparently it doesn't matter because they already has a chingo of plastics just sitting anywhere. Just being bottled nah, in that plastic. Fucking the tall, tall, almost somebody. Nothing's out here and shit. Nothing. Well, 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 I mean, you, you can. No, that's not. Nah, that's I'm, not I'm, I don't I'm, think I'm, that's the web entirely. You know, do you, you know what this podcast you listen, is all about? Wait. Did you listen to anything? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's the pinches, man. We gave a whole thing and the rato like, ah, todos nos vamos a morir de algo. You know, type of deal. <laughs> no, I mean, in the sense of like, okay. Yo vivo como yo quiero chingados. No. Water is one of the healthiest things, but it's the way it's 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 packaged, right? That makes it dangerous. Well, it's also the way it's filtered. I mean, and people processed. say drink spring water instead of purify. I mean, there's this. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can really get into a way where it's like the deodorants, the fucking toothpaste. I mean, the shower. The, 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 but it's going to be one of those. Al rato is like fucking 20, 30 years from now. It's like, oh, people that were drinking this type of brand of water and this plastic are well, fucking... It's not just the brand, it's just the plastic. Oh, the plastic, but that was whatever. You know, I'm just... It's just... You know, yeah, yeah. You know, que al rato, like fucking links to fucking pulmonary cancer or stomach cancer or liver cancer. No, for say. sure. I mean, but but uh, but a healthy lifestyle sometimes gives you a better edge on like things like that where I mean they they did the like the blue zones in in, in Japan. Like why why do Japanese people live longer if they smoke cigarettes? Well, I mean, now they're starting to say and then these are our fucking theories because in 5 years you're following something different because yeah. nobody knows what the fuck they're talking about sometimes, but now they're saying that well, it's it's you could smoke. They're smoking cigarettes, but they're eating healthy, and that kind of cancels out the. And they walk and they do this. Plus, care. I mean, smoking a cigarette, it, it's there's there's actual a difference where you like like they, they, there's something called a placebo and there's something called a nocebo, which is like uh, you're no not nocebo. Yeah, the nocebo. Like so no sabo. Yeah. So it's like. If you if you're smoking a cigarette because you're stressed at work and work sucks, that's gonna obviously affect your system different than if you're smoking it after a nice meal with friends and family and you're just relaxing, you're not stressed. The cigarette hits your body different, and, and it's just a different context. It's the same chemical. I'm not saying that it's healthy to smoke, but I'm saying it hits your body different when you're smoking for pleasure and you're enjoying the meal and you're you're laughing with your family than when you're at work fucking chain smoking, stressed out because bills and this and that. It's gonna hit your body different. Where well, it's like a mental thing, no? It's, it's I mean, a you're, thing, you're yeah. doing it out of a negative, and it acts. Exactly, yeah. And if you're doing a positive, it adds to the positive. Yeah. yeah. I'm not saying how, smoking is healthy, but I, I, I just feel like before you worry about fucking the, the chemicals and plastic and all this shit, that, that's overwhelming. Fix your fucking day-to-day fucking nutrition and the way you process stress. And then once you feel good about yourself, if you want to start worrying about fucking plastics and all that shit. And dude. warm up your weenie and the fork. <laughs> Kills, Kills the all the nitrates, bro. Kills all the cancer, eh? <laughs> Kills the nitrates, bro. Bueno, pues. Over an open flame. Ya llegamos a esa hora, raza. Yeah, it's time. Yeah. Because you got to go do things. I got to go do things. And just thought, hey, but we had a fucking, like, the, the, I think Dave showed up. That's oh, all Dave, sure. wait. We didn't have, you, I know you think that's a bunch of people. That's all Dave. I just can't see, but I know it's purple, different colors, whatever, but maybe it is that's, Dave. That, no, that's all Dave. No, it's not per- different colors. It's all the same one. Purple, uh, blue. Purple, purple blue. blue. Purple, purple, yeah, blue. okay. It's all the same one. I don't know what you're saying, pero. Bueno, pues, raza. We'll, we'll read it after Dave. Yeah. Sube el volumen allá, compa. ¿Cuál? La, la música. Musica. La banda, eh. Yeah, oh shit, there we go. So yeah, we just had a three nutritionalists on board with this conversation. Not two, so. because I just had hung, hung back and we, I just we, we just had three back. two two food experts here comment. So make sure you guys <laughs> listen to everything we said. Don't don't fucking ask us about our degrees. <laughs> yeah. And thanks, Henry Rollins. We got them at the school of hard knocks. <laughs> See what you started, eh? <laughs> You're welcome for having two experts in nutrition in this podcast. <laughs> hey, don't ask me where I got my parenting degree. Tampoco cabrones. <laughs> University of Phoenix. <laughs> I got at this fucking Proud school of fucking knocks. Chicago sandwich, shuffle. cabrón. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, pues, raza. Um, chingo de gracias. Thank you for listening. Um, Want to support us? Go to our Patreon. Um, hit up my grito and tell them, hey, what's up with the fucking sponsors for the shuffle, eh? Promo code Chicano Shuffle, one yeah. word. You know, hit them up. Put it in everywhere, man. Yeah, exactly. Until it works. And give them a follow, too. 
and um, but no más es eso. Um, hey, Fernie, we got nothing new. Mm, we'll save it for next week because I don't remember. When. Okay. Steves, we got you. Got anything? No, I'm good right now. All right. Hola, Parraza. I think this is one of the shortest goodbyes. Abrazos with that, eh? Should schedule something after every time, man. Let's go get some weenies for me.